Hello and welcome back to another episode of SDS. This is the last podcast episode of 2023. There will be a funniest moment coming out very soon. But yeah, this is a midweek uh, PL roundup. Uh, I'm going to quickly introduce the table. Um, it's a solemn mood right now between me and my co-host is star player next yeah, to me. How are yeah, you doing star player? Hold on, hold on, man. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's go. Fuad uh, across from me, we got Fuad, the Tottenham fan who lost as well. So I'm not even going to bother introducing him. Now, next us, we got Liban. He can that actually. Movie, I've seen that song, so far, man. I'm the only one who said anything. <laughs> Nah, he deserves to dance, man. He, nah, he's won 3-2. Uh, he's dancing. Do, do your little chicken dance, man. Do you think? Do you think? Chicken little, do you think? Hey, hey, man, hey, hey, He wasn't dancing at 2-0 hey, hey, uh, hey, down, though. Hey, hey, he, he hey. can dance at 3-2, like, well, I don't mind. <laughs> he can dance at 3-2. Oh, it's a good day, baby. It's a good day, too. Introduce to these, though, man. Yeah, man. Introduce the man then properly, man. Come on. All right, we got Fuad Kadani yes, here. Yes. yes. Let's go. Let's go. We back, baby. And we got Lee Ban LDN. Hey, hey. Hey, man. Keep it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Keep it. Hey. It's, it's L. It's I. He's getting. Oh, what the? It's N. Hey, it's N. <laughs> <laughs> his eyes roll back into his head. <laughs> <laughs> Someone <laughs> give that, please. <laughs> that was me dubbing that, man. I need that. <laughs> Nick. Nick. And I hear it still. I hear it. I hear it. Toes curling. Oh, but listen, let's get into this bit of a PR round up here. As always, if you want to check us out, audio, the links are in the description. Spotify, iTunes, Amazon. Uh, if you want to listen, us, listen to us on audio and you want to check us out on YouTube, it's SDS. You get to see everyone's faces here. Let's start in with this game. The last Arsenal, time, 2 0 down. Uh, we lost 2 0 to West Ham at home. Awesome. Um, it was Moise's first managerial career win away in a Premier League away game since uh, uh, any uh, against Chelsea, Man United, Liverpool, Arsenal. Arsenal's the first team that he's managed to beat away in the Premier League. Uh, me and uh, star player just came back from the game. We are mm. uh, fuming, absolutely fuming at the result. We're fuming at the performance. We got a few plays we got to talk about that are on the watch right now. But uh, add, add the manager to that as well. Oh, okay, add the manager to that as well. I don't think the I don't think the, man, the manager did get. No, his I'm, the, I'm not. Today. I'm not them shit Arsenal fans that are like certain man with dreadlocks. Don't want to say names, yeah. but uh, do they dip their hair into something? Huh? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it, it wasn't. It, it wasn't you. It was aimed oh. at um, Shark's cousin. Oh, Shark's uh, cousin. Uh, yeah. The, the fifty percent of the Primo. Primo guy. Yeah, 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 yeah basically. Yeah. Yeah. Shout, shout yeah. out Primo. Yeah. Make that good guy. Shit yeah. fans that though. That's about Primo. Primo. You're wearing him though. Hmm? You're wearing his brand. Yeah, I'm wearing it. I actually am wearing it. I actually am wearing it. Yeah, I'm wearing it as well, man. Full suit. Head to toe. Head to toe. Head to toe. What's going on here? Head to toe. <laughs> I, I don't get no hand out. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Hey. But um, let's get into the game star play, yeah? So when the game kicked off, yeah, didn't feel like Arsenal were in their groove just yet. And well, when were they? I don't think they were in their <laughs> groove at they? all in the first half. And then uh, there was a mistake by... Caused a, by who? Was caused, caused by who? A certain Arsenal left back who got in the way a of Gabriel's clearance. shit blonde hair you... Yeah, you got in a, a, a way of uh, Gabriel's clearance. Uh, Bowen kept it in, but it was a VAR. I can't give a shit, man. Another VAR. They they've had their hand in I, this one. They mm. don't. They couldn't tell if the ball was out of play because the knee was I, obstructing well, the camera. God, well, I God's watching me now. I'm so happy they scored that. Well, I was at the stadium, so I'm happy they scored, man. Because bows and moments like that deserve goals. It's not his fault. He was drawn That's to the it. ball. Huh? He was drawn to the ball. The brother, if you want to be that side of the Arsenal side, <laughs> it's up to you. But Bozo defending. Let's get into this. Sinchenko had a horror performance. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Bro, bro, horror shame. Like, like horror another shame. another stinker. Like Kudus, what a quote, what a player. Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, uh, if Paqueta stayed on that page. Oh well, I wanted I wanted Paqueta to play. I wanted I wanted to watch Paqueta play today, but he got taken out. Yeah, he got taken. Oh my day! This team, yeah, Arteta. So where's the problem start there? Where's it start? Team? It starts off at the very top with Mikel Arteta. With all these tweaks and changes. I understand, yeah, Havertz has been playing well the last month and a half, but it's hindered Martinelli's game compared to what you've seen last season. How so? In terms of he's now stuck by the byline where uh, now Havertz is now playing basically as a second striker, if that makes sense. So he's in that space where um, Martinelli usually is at, where he was at last oh, season because Xhaka usually does the overlap. Xhaka used to, no, Xhaka used Xhaka, to be almost that second striker picking up the third man yeah, run. As he was, he was. And Martinelli but, but, used to have no. all the space, so it's always, oh, he's, he can use his no, speed but, but, and no, directness. No, you're right. But the difference is Xhaka will pick and t uh, choose the timing of his runs. Whereas as you witness today or with Havertz, Havertz, his best place is in front of goal, closest to the goal. He's not trying to be in the build-up play or whatever. And he has succeeded in terms of that. But it's 
it's it's messed up Martinelli's game because no, now Trussard, like say for yeah, example, West Ham today, Trussard today, yeah. today, he never really came off the left. He was playing as if he was next to Jesus. And it's not his natural position, yeah. which hindered so you can't, you can't which hindered thing because last year, if I'm correct, Kufal got a red card last year. Was it the year before that? The year before the Lacazette the year, one. The, the year before that. The Lacazette where one. Where yeah. Kufal, however you want to pronounce this, I was going to say something bad. <laughs> pronounce that brother's name. Yeah. He's he's not that good. He never attacked so, him once. So, so what would be your solution instead of putting that Trossard in that midfield? What? I would have played Emma Smith Rowe. I would have yeah. played Emma Smith Rowe. That's how much we miss mm. Fabio Vieira uh, so far this season. He Fabio Vieira, if Havertz obviously couldn't play. What has happened with Smith Rowe? Because I swear to you, like two years ago, two and a half years ago, it was like him and Saka were like, you know, the seven, the ten, and he got he, injured as far as I was. He had aware. that recurring groin injury, which had I had the recurring yeah. groin injury, but last year, second half of the season was kind of declared fit, not really used. Then it was coming to this season, and I thought maybe even off the bench, you'd be kind of getting more minutes. But you're seeing even Nelson has become kind of the first port call if they need some kind of attack. I, 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 I was saying to these guys as well, before the game Rowe started. almost now has disappeared into like the squad. Like I'm seeing Arsenal fans saying, yeah, I don't mind cashing in on him in I January. Say, I yeah, don't yeah, mind. Don't mind. Like, and that's more... Uh, I remember when Villa came mm. with literally the 35 million bid, what, two years ago? That's what he was like, like, that, yeah. Are you crazy? And now it's like, hey, that 35, but, but, we'll take it. But at yeah. that time, at that, at that time, we just, what was it? Just won the FA Cup and we, and we finished fifth in the league. Yeah. So that, it, we, there was no hope. The year after, it was it was madness because we finished second, and yeah. now expectations and everything has changed. You've seen the, you've seen the team now, Jesus, start, Jesus, Sinchenko, whatever, Rice, and all that and all that lot. It's changed a lot, got, so we don't got... really need him as he's more of a utility man than he was. Like his roles have changed. You know, he was looked at that like, uh, it's, it's 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 no more that no more. It's that, that, nah. that. Now well, it's he's a utility Croydon man. De Bruyne. The whole lot honest, changed. Bro, bro. I'll be honest, yeah, I don't get it. He said the first person he wanted to address was Arteta, right? Yes. Right. The problem with Arteta, what year did he join you guys? 2020. 2020. So 20, 20, December. 2019, 2020, right? Yeah, December 19. So the problem is, yeah, December 19. he's only downloaded chapter one to three of Pep's handbook. Mm. He mm. hasn't got chapters four to six. Continue. So he's, yeah. only, so he's only been there for three years, right? So he was only with Guadalupe for like two and a half years, three years, right. was it? So he only understands how to do the Pep way up to a certain point. Mm. So it's like Harry Potter books. He's got to Prisoner of Azkaban. He doesn't know how the movie the thing ends. He doesn't know how the thing ends. So now he's kind of like freestyling it. So it's like Game of Thrones. So he's only got chapters one, two, three. Yeah. Which got him to where he is now. So now he's struggling because he hasn't got the other chapters. He's basically just a little mini, it's just a little mini pep. I hear it. I hear it. They hit the bank when they got Zinchenko and Jesus and everybody was telling them, yo, the City fans were telling them, yo, we flogged you. They're telling you, you, you're taking our basically our little one away, like you know, yeah, the little yeah, throwaways, the, the husbands, the, the, the little, little second hand game station, the mm. game station. You know, yeah, where did yeah. you get the two for 20? You know, get the little fever, fever for oh five, and sale. fever over seven is already out. You're trying to get fever oh five yeah. with uh, need for speed, the, the, the third one, the first yeah, one. Yeah. These times we're on number three already. That's what you basically done with Sinjenko and, and Jesus. Look, look, now you've got a situation where now all of a sudden Jesus is not good enough. He's not a good enough goal scorer, apparently. Now, they, now well. they need to go sign a striker. Now they lost faith in Sinchenko. Apparently, Sinchenko is not good enough. Apparently, it's a liability now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Havertz is the reason the midfield dynamic has changed. We knew about that. We've mm -hmm. been saying this from early in the season. I said Arsenal's team, there's something about the team. Where they were on the table was good because they were getting through games. Even though there was gaps in that team, they were still getting, getting the points. They were still in a strong position. Now, it's almost like... Not to necessarily say they found out because they're still playing good football, but it's like those gaps are becoming more and more, like they're now in your face. Mm. All those things, those issues that the results were slightly hiding, it was kind of like the paper over the cracks. Yeah. And now you're seeing it. You see the situation in midfield. You see the striker situation. You see certain individuals. With, we can get onto Martinelli. We can mm. get onto Odegaard at times. I said last, last season about Odegaard. I said, I'm not convinced about this guy. He's a good player, but when it comes to like crunch moments and when you really, really need him I've to be that, well, to yeah. be that guy... He hasn't got that in his bag. Mm. Martinelli, I said last season, his bag's not deep enough. He's very much one-dimensional. Yeah. Said that last season. Mm. I got killed for saying that. I got killed for saying that. Mm. I even said, and I'll say it now, but even though he's playing well, so credit to him, he's playing well this season, but Gabriel, when I said he's not the most comfortable on the ball, I got killed for that. Mm. I remember Towards that. the end of the season, people start yeah. saying, no, 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 you, oh, Gabriel's just not, he's mm. not comfortable now all of a sudden on the ball when they, when they bottled the league. They started getting onto him. Yeah. So it's like, Arsenal, the problem with Arsenal fans this year, when things are going well, they don't want to look at any areas of weakness. They don't, they, all of a sudden, they become blind. They don't want to address any issues. Their team's perfect. You're not allowed to criticise anyone. Everyone's good. You know, you say- all season it was, our football isn't, we're not worse. 
we've almost gotten smart. We're not as excited. Forget that. Two, three we're, we're playing ago. more controlled, if that makes yeah, sense. And that's true. Bro, that, I, I still, yeah, I still hold, stand hold by on, that. Hold on, three weeks ago, still they were saying, saying two, three weeks ago, they were already saying we've won the league. Oh, oh, who the hell is that? Which, which no, idiot no, asked no, for us to send that? Guy, they were saying, no this guy is your sources. Yeah, I need your sources on that. On social media. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, two weeks ago. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on. When City were dropping points. Hold on, what When City were dropping points. Okay. From Tottenham, mm-hmm. when they were dropping points in that little run that they had, where they were dropping points, yeah. yeah. At Chelsea, they dropped points. When Tottenham dropped points and they were winning games, what was what was the consensus at that time on social media? They were confident this time. No, they weren't. Mm. No, we weren't. Oh, listen, what you were, the, Arsenal, last listen, season, Arsenal, was, last really season we learned no. our lesson not to be confident this season. season. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. So is, is that the case then? Shark has got a tweet. Shark has got a tweet. Shark doesn't represent Arsenal fans. So why? Oh, he's, got he's got his face on the. He's got his face on the Emirates Stadium. He's got a louder voice than both of you. He's got a louder voice than both of you. He's got a louder voice than both of you. He represents your club. He's got his face on the stadium. Who's doing guessing games with Saka and Saka, He's him. It's him. So don't tell me about no one saying that. Don't tell me when that's your voice. That idiot's not the voice for me. Listen, that idiot's the voice for me. Don't tell me he's not my voice. He's a representative. He's on the stage. He's on the Emirates. He's on the stadium. He's on the same. So, he's he's right so don't tell he's me. So don't, so, don't, so don't make stuff up. Don't tell me I like I'm making stuff up because there were fans that genuinely believed that this this city no, team that was off. We said, cite no, your source. And, and, and no one also, also, also three weeks ago, we weren't expecting Liverpool to be at the top of the table either. Yeah. Let's be real. So now that it's, it's got to the situation, it's more feeling like you guys are letting yourselves down now because you guys saw a window. It was like, okay, City are gone down now. Yeah. We're, it's our charge now. Now we can really take this league. And you haven't <laughs> been able to. And now that's why, now you're trying to be like, oh, who said that? No, it's, no. Mm. there were people saying that. There were people, you might have not necessarily said it. You might have not necessarily said it. Exactly. not people were saying it. That's the fan base never said no. it. No, Arsenal fans. I don't know what part yeah. of the Twitter Arsenal you're fans. <laughs> this is what Arsenal fans are. When the things are going fan. well, the they're side, the best yeah, team yeah. in the world. Every player is the best player in their position. Everyone's <laughs> flawless. No one's got mistakes in their game. It's perfect. Mm. Manager's the best manager in the world. We're going to win the league. When you start dropping <laughs> points, all of a sudden now, all these problems are right. Just like when they were bottling the league and they started talking about, oh, Saka's uh, f- falling off a bit. Oh, party, this part. Something wrong with party. Something wrong. With- it's always when things are not going well. But bear in mind, when even when they're doing well, these problems are still there. It's just mm. that they're getting the results. Yeah. But they don't like to address it. They don't like to look at why because they're winning. So if you say something, all of a sudden you look crazy. What is it they say? Uncomfortable conversation. Uncomfortable conversation. So I'm not surprised today. I even said on the, on, on a previous episode <laughs> with Sharky here, Sharky, sure host Sharky time, yeah? star player. Yeah. If you're hosting that, you just watch it. We watch the time. Yeah. yeah and then you got, and yeah, had, so we, had, bro, we had you over here, yeah? We had you over here. Yeah. Are you sure that's the table, yeah? Listen, hold on. Are you covered on the table, yeah? Are you covered on the table? Yappa, yappa. You're just a yappa. That's what you are, a yappa. Just do your job. Do your job. Yeah? Listen, when they had, we had that table, and I was saying that. Uh, Sharky was reading the fixture list. He's like, oh, we played, he said, we played Man City, we played Chelsea, we played United, we played all of a sudden. All we got to play, and now he was saying all the lists like Brentford, Aston Villa, he said Brighton, Liverpool, West Ham. I said, let's see how that pans out because I don't think you guys are going to do as well as you think you might do. Mm. You know, so I said, let's see how that unfolds and you're seeing it now. What do you lot think is like the, right now the, the course? Like, I, in particular, I want to look at your attack, you see. Like, what do you lot think of your attack is, is the issue this season? Because I don't feel like it's... it's I think our wingers this season. Goals. And if you look at Bro, today, for goals. example, today I, th- I think you had, what, 30 shots? Ah, oh, that, that shot's uh, hype, man. No, but even more. Shot's hype, man. Some some people were saying Odegaard had a game of... I said, I think it was his best game this season. Balls into the box, no, bro. He's creating those chances. All of a sudden, spamming balls. Is this spamming balls into the box, bro? I don't remember him spamming balls. I don't remember him spamming balls into the box. I don't remember what game In the hope that somebody gets it. Were you saying they, that that's what they criticized Bruno for? But they're bro, he was basically you're trying to do the Bruno, just oh, hitting man. that ball in. Just he was just spamming balls into the box. I don't know because you know why? Because he does that little silky little shoulder drop before he does it, and he does the little does little, little hair flick. And then he, then he puts the ball in. So all of a sudden, it looks like he's playing well. All he's doing, he he's doing hopeless Arsenal balls Arsenal into the box, bro. Hopeless balls into the box. So far, he said that Arsenal fans said they're gonna win the league three weeks ago. He said Odegaard was spamming balls in the box. They were saying it. I don't know what's going on. Light it now because yeah. now that you're no, not you're doing well, us. you can't gaslight it now. No, 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 because you're gaslighting us. No, no, because everything I'm saying is receipts for it. So you yeah. can't try to say I'm Where's gaslighting. The it. There's receipts. There's receipts for it. Everything I'm saying right now is receipts for yeah. it. You can't handle the fact, yeah, that and this is what you guys do. You backtrack mm. because you're deep in it now. You're deep in it now. You're talking about the attack, right? You said what the issue with attack? Their attack don't have goals. 
It's as simple as that, bro. But well, he asked us that question, right? Yeah. Yeah. He asked last, us that yeah. question. No, but bro. last season, they <laughs> yeah, hold on, yeah, yeah. Yeah. hold on, hold on. Okay, he did. No, he, <laughs> asked, that. No, he asked a question. What was his answer? He didn't have a lot. He didn't have a lot. Best. 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 Okay, one day, Canadian. <laughs> Listen, that brother switches up every day. I'd rather be no, you're right, you're right, one yeah. face, brother. You know one face. But we'll get on to him later on. Yeah, Don't worry. So, we'll get on to so, him later on. So. see, could you answer Fuad's question? I think our, our wingers need a massive, massive reality check. I think so far this season, Martinelli hasn't been the Martinelli that we knew of last Two season. Two goals. Two goals this Premier, uh, Premier League season. One of them being a deflected goal against Man City. Yes, it was the winning goal, but, you know, that's one of them. I don't even remember what the first goal was. Um, I think... Sure, you could look at the tactical issues that yeah, maybe, tactical with, issues. With, with maybe like Jacob being out of the team that has affected his play. Now he's got to deal with Havertz and Zinchenko. Sure. But at the end of the day, if you're meant to be this on the come up as a world class winger, you're trying to get that ma- mantelpiece and then you're moving like this in games. Mm-hmm. It's, it's ridiculous at this point. So I don't know what he's on. Saka, I think he's another <laughs> one as well where the right side of the attack as well. Uh, and he. He hasn't. He wasn't even double teamed that much this game. And oh, he was still, today it made me poor. cry. Today and, made me cry. Yeah, and he was still very poor. Oh like Ben day. White wasn't even offering much help. But when he was trying to do one on one isolation, he was just doing he nonsense. Who? I want to actually uh, and and want to get your thoughts as well. Like, what, what do you think these? Yeah, uh, what he said, baloney. It's cap. Okay. For me personally. It starts at Arteta. Yeah, you went to be one side. No, 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 no. I like this. Keep Bro, going. Be, you know me. I like I different schools of thoughts right here. You know me. You know how we're talking about, okay, cool, Saka Martinelli. Mm-hmm. You, know who, you know who our top goal scorer is? Uh, Eddie. It's Bukai Saka and Eddie Akei with five goals yeah, in December. Tied. Mm. Martinelli's got two. Mm. Let's, talk, let's talk about, and then let's talk about, okay, cool. You're singling out Martinelli and Saka. All, all our attackers are shit. All our attackers are shit, bro. And what? Hey, okay, cool. But how did it? I'm not, wait, 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 wait. You can't just say that statement because last year it was older guard. You had him chipping. What was it? Double figures 15, from the midfield. Fifteen. Yeah. Martinelli. You had Saka, fifteen. Generational winger tearing it up international international tournaments. Can't wait till he sees the Champions League. Martinelli was you know Brazil's next one up. Bro, he got fifteen. Jesus before the injury was looking Quality. like the answer to number nine. Yeah. Okay, he came back crunch time. Everybody kind of choked, but then it was second season. Now we're gonna re up with the same tools. I'm like. What happened in between that there, where now you've got Saka on five goals, Martinelli on two, Jesus decided he wants to be a deep line playmaker, basically, and pick up random positions of the pitch. Is that from Arteta, or is that the I players that have just... A bit they don't have that no, level no, within no, it. No, no, what I'm asking is, was last season almost like a one-season wonder fluke? for these guys? No, no. Or is it a thing where Arteta's not doing the most... Ta- to get this, them, this, to this get the most this out of them. He's, he's not doing the most per, I think it's more personnel because I think with Saka, yeah, I think he's the only one yeah, that I actually, I will allow him. Only because, one, they don't even have a, like a, an adequate sort of somebody that could come in and play on the right side. Mm-hmm. They don't even have that. They have right. to put makeshift. Someone like Jesus may have to go on the right or someone trust yeah. someone. Someone to, to so already there's not someone behind him like an understudy, someone that could come right. in and where they can rest him. The guy last season or the last two years has played like almost every single see game. That, see that's, that's crazy. Crazy. Hold on, no, 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 this no, no, is no, no, that no, no, hype. No, 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 Injury, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's, they've played him through games with him carrying an injury, yeah. They forced this guy to continue playing, continue playing to the point where they had, they were forced. If they could, if they could, they would have. But he was forced to take one game rest, mm-hmm. yeah. Come back, I they rushed. That. Listen, they rushed him back, <laughs> and it's like since then he said, "Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going." Mm-hmm. Bro, the guy's still young. Number one, I don't think he's fully recovered from that. Twenty-one injury. came into this as well. Hold on, hold on, mm-hmm. one second though. No, what? No. Hold on, this is the point I'm trying to make here. Yeah? You, you are literally. Burning this youth to the ground, yeah, and then still expecting him to carry. Bear in mind, you just made a statement. He's still your top scorer. He's 
you probably got the most assists in your team. He's got the most goals in your team. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, so okay, it's okay, like, no, no. he's still, so Saka, he's still, yeah, yeah. He's Saka, still okay. doing Saka, something, but you guys still want him to produce the numbers he produces while considering all the other factors. Yeah, no, but I think that's unfair for this season. No, but I think that's unfair. No, but even for this season, Saka's the one you could say, okay, he's at least still putting up the numbers. Maybe the performances aren't there. I'm looking at the other two. No, like, other two bums. What's happened? Bums. I don't know about bums. Other two bums. Last season, one season. This season, this season. This, 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 this is what I was talking is it about. A rough patch or restoring back to normal levels? No, 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 no from it, for me, this, normal regard, normal regarding this year, you know what I said? Oh, yeah, this, Martelly, I think that's just him. And, and no, I don't think so. I think that's, I think I don't think he's playing well, but I just feel like whatever you, you like whatever you get with Martelly is what you get. You know, it's just like unfortunately right now he's not playing well. It's not like you're not Martelly playing well. It's just whatever he's doing working for him. When he's not playing well, it's just not working for him. He hasn't got an alternative. He's just I've one that this is this You're just saying his bag's not deep. His bag's not deep. Bro, so he Martin, Martin, Martinelli, I've said If he's playing against a low block team, it's done. It's he not reminds done, me very he's much done. of like a he can't do anything in, in, in terms block. of how he plays, I've said, with, with Martinelli. I think he's a streaky player, if you like. And when he goes in those kind of patches, he looks a phenom, mm. if you like. But then when he's not, you're just kind of looking at him like, what's going on? But I don't know. I'm thinking Arteta, for me, the thing I'm noticing this year is the fullbacks are playing completely different in terms of, I don't think Zinchenko and especially Ben White are offering as much overlaps as they were but last ben year. White? Last year, it almost felt mm. like you had Odegaard, Saka and Ben White on that right side doing triangles galore and it was flowing and moving and you were like, all right, you know what? We'll switch it to the other side. You had Shaka doing the underlap. You had Martinelli and Zinchenko had a nice one too. That seems to have been abandoned this year and I, and I don't know why. I'll You're tell you why. Yeah, go for I'll it. tell you why. Regarding Zinchenko, he, I don't know what's wrong. I'm, I'm calling him a bum out, out of the way. Ben White is the argument that Levon was talking about with Saka where yeah. his hamstring's on the bone. Every Arsenal fan knows that. But he's the kind of people who are like, I'll play through it. It's fine. And it's, it's affecting his game where he can't run up and down the way he used to. He's not He's not had a rest. Yeah, I'm really, He ain't had a rest at all. Whereas when I was talking about, when I was talking about our attackers and I said, oh, these guys are shit. I'm not literally saying they're shit and they're, they're useless. I'm saying... It stems from the manager because, say for example, you at Spurs or you at United, there's periods where Rashford's out of form, but Garnacho's in form. Whereas you, Son's out of form, Richardson's picked it up. Yeah. At our club, there's not one play, not, there's not one attacker that's in form. There's not one attacker that you're uh, you're looking at going, okay, cool, this guy's playing well. Every single but, one of our attackers. But is that not where you look to your manager a little bit? That's what I'm. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, it stems. Yeah, it yeah, stems yeah. from him because you're right in terms of with Saka. Okay, cool. A lot of people use tiredness, fatigue, and all that stuff. I genuinely think it's comfortability, bro. Mm-hmm. There is no. There's no competition. It, it, there's no competition, and it's not even that. Arteta is not ballsy enough to go. You know what? He's, he's not been playing that great. Let me just start Reese Nelson. At least with your manager, when Rashford. Rashford was not performing. He said, F, I'm putting Garnacha there and he's playing three games. I couldn't care a lot what happens to Rashford. Kobe Mane. Kobe Mane. Don't come from. That's ballsy, bro. The, with, day, yeah. with, with whatever you call it, with whatever you call it, with Arteta, what's this one thing that Arsenal fans used to always talk about? We're d- we've got depth. We're deep. We've got Reese Nelson. He just signed a new contract. We brought in Trussell Tras- Tras- from and January. Ketia, we've contract. got and get a new contract and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Put it to the test. Use them. If you don't like, like I said, if you don't like, if Saka's not playing that you great, don't like us. No, if you don't like, no, if you don't no, like, no, basically, no. if you don't like, if you don't like, if you don't like, what you call it? If you, if you don't like you Saka don't like playing him. right wing, if you don't like Saka <laughs> playing right wing, do what it did with Gate against Man City. Yeah. Put Jesus on the right because we've seen that do it at Man City. Yeah. yeah. Start Eddie and K up front. Switch up, maybe play Havertz. And I feel like what I, why I'm blaming Arteta to an extent is he's he's done too much to cater. To Kai Havertz, mm. the way he, t- the way he's changed his style, yeah. and yes, Kai Havertz has benefited from it because now everyone's praising Kai Havertz because it's his signing. He asked Chelsea, "I want to bring him in for sixty odd million," yeah. and it's working now, and everyone's happy with the results that we're getting from Kai Havertz. But what, what have you hit, done? But what have you done with that? Yeah, you've, hit, you've messed up Martinelli's game. So you messed up Jesus's game to right. an extent. You've messed up Saka Saka's game to an extent. Odegaard is not the way, same Odegaard that it was at last season because now he has to change the ways because he has to come in deeper mm-hmm. compared to what he did last year. Last year, okay, cool. He was shooting a lot more. Mm-hmm. He was more in outside the box kind of freedom. thing. He had more freedom. Bro, it's yeah. changed, he's changed a lot. And now, like you said, going into this game, they're like, we'll do, we'll do exactly the same setup that we did. And the one thing about Arteta, unless it's Manchester City, mm-hmm. which I've seen, we've all seen, 
he will never change his game. He'll play the same way. He'll play that little shitty, let's dilly dally the ball outside the box. It's never against Brighton. <laughs> you see what they call it when they lose? No, I shitty, love this. Shitty, <laughs> shitty dilly dally. That's it. Shitty dilly dally. Shitty dilly dally. Because that's what we do. This is we, the new one. Because we beat we, we beat out yeah. outside the box, bro. And then man are screaming, we've had 30 chances. We've only had five clear cut chances, chances yeah. and we missed. And that's my point of that. Like when people say, oh, Odegaard had an amazing game. Really? No, yeah, he had a great. Well, I'll be honest. No, well, I, well, I had a great. Is, well, well, is he creating enough chances for that the others should be putting him away? No, I no. Should I tell you? Should I tell you? Should players get criticised for what they should have? No, 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 no. And that's we was there. We was there. See what you're saying there, though. Yeah, is now do you to fix that attack where you feel like he's muddled it up a little bit? Do you give him the second half of the season to be like, all right, those are your guys. This is what you've built, as you're saying. Work it out, or do you go and? Get a Tony in and say, "Do you we know what? Aff- we need it." I, I, d- d- the way Arteta's doing it now, he needs Tony more than anything. Mm. If not, change your way to an extent, tweak it. Mm. But he's done about a thousand tweaks. And going back to what I said, the only thing he's done this season compared to last season. You know, last season when we went Brighton away, what was we doing? We was playing in behind football. We wasn't playing the tiki taka and all that mm-hmm. stuff. With certain teams, were playing different styles of football. Yeah, this year. It's been the same way every week in week up. Besides Man City, Man City, mm-hmm. we literally sat back and said, "You know what? We're gonna try hit you on the counter," and mm-hmm. that's how we won the game. Whereas today, for example, we there's there's nothing. When when I was telling this guy when we was watching the game, I said, "Who are you gonna bring off the bench?" Because you've started everyone that has made that's meant to be on the bench. You start you had to start Trusser, so your impact sub's already done. Who are you gonna bring off off the bench? Okay. We had to we had to sacrifice Zinchenko, put Reese Nelson at left back to salvage mm-hmm. a point out of this game. That's solely on Arteta. Yeah, that's I solely on Arteta. Well. You guys used to start games explosive. Like remember last season when they come into the first 20, 30 minutes, you guys were explosive in the first. Oh, they did that against uh, Liverpool. Yes, Liverpool. and Brighton. Yes. Yes. Twenty-five yes. minutes. I explosive. Was, I but was was that, but, but, no, but, that. but they, that's because it's Anfield. They're coming away. Yeah, yeah. Liverpool, big game. I get it. That that you they're, they're riled up yeah, for yeah. it. But I'm saying just on normal every like last season, any game they were going into first twenty-five minutes, half an hour, they were. They and were then, and then what? And then what was the last twenty like? Well, last one, he obviously... Yeah, you get scared. You get scared, yeah. yeah. And that's the thing, Arteta's massively changed is the fact that yeah. I'm making sure that last 20 minutes, we're gonna it's going to be as, as comfy as possible where we don't feel scared. And this season, he's made us believe, I'm not scared when it comes to, okay, cool, so no, we're winning 2-1. Can we hold on to the draw? Now I'm going to games going, if we're winning 2-1, I'm like, I think... I think we'll win 2-1 or whatever the scoreline is. Before we go into anything else, actually, I want to talk on the Declan Rice stuff. There's before no, before you like, let me that. say one more thing about Bakai Saka. Yeah. Okay. Every, everyone regard, everyone's saying tiredness and all that stuff, yeah? Yeah. He's had he's had more breaks now. Last year, I hear what you said because it was April. They had a World yeah, Cup World in between Cup. that. The whole, yeah. you're right, bro. He ran him down to the bone. We're in December. Mm-hmm. Didn't play against, he came last 15 minutes against PSV, whatever. Mm-hmm. He had nine minutes. All, all the star players have have that now we can't say for example Arsenal fans cannot now scream and go Saka's the best right wing in the Prem Saka's top three in the world he's competing with this guy he's sitting on the table with this guy and then once he has a when once he stinks or he's having an off, off period game, yeah. Man, he's twenty one, bro. He's fatigued. He's tired. You can't, you can't win with Arsenal can't fans, bro. You can't, bro, you can't, you can't, you can't pick, pick and choose. choose. But yeah. I'm not an Arsenal fan. I'm, I'm telling you, and I'm telling you, for just from outside looking in, from me, from what I'm seeing with the you way work on that, Saka's being handled in terms of like his minutes and his management. I don't, I don't think he's been managed well. And I, you have to remember, yes, you could say there's been a bit of a gap break here, but I feel like I think. He, He's got, there's definitely, he's, I can confidently, when I watch Saka, I can confidently say that player is not 100%. He's not playing at 100%. Mm. That's a fact. I can say that for a fact. He's not playing at 100%. Saka. Then, there's a, then doesn't that stem to of Arteta? Course, because if you're course. playing, if you're of playing, course, I don't deny that. That's half, that's of course. Because all, that, all, yeah. that, all that's doing is, it's yeah. messing up Saka because now if Saka's off because of some injury, yeah, everyone's going to yeah, talk about it. Yeah, and going to be like, oh, he's not the sucker that and we I'm, thought he was. I'm sorry, but you at your club can speak on that situation because you can see how Rashford's been handled. Yeah. You remember when he was being forced to play through injuries and yeah. how's he looking now? Yeah. So I'm sorry. And it took him, it took him a year to come to back. the club yeah. to uh, actually manage that player. And um, that's why I, I can't have it with Saka, I understand how important he is. I'm sorry, Arteta. Mm. You've had how long now? You mm-hmm. said he took charge December 2019. Yeah. yeah, you've known that long that Saka's going to be a key player in the team. If you're not protecting him and giving him the right protection, that's on it's you. It's, it's the blonde hair as well, man. It's the blonde hair as well. Brother, I, you know what? I did not want to say it, but I'm glad you brought... 
My brother, See you got blonde hair right now. Yeah, no, 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 no. You need to slow down. It's, it's yeah. not for Whatever everybody. You want, you want. Leave the blonde thing like, to I, the I, flare, I, I, man. I can't lie to you. you I, see I had them? blonde hair once. You've had blonde hair? I've had blonde hair once. Yeah, it was in Los Angeles, man. Leave it to the flare, man. It was here in London. Church boy, mummy's looking for you. Leave the blonde tips alone, brother. Yeah, I can't lie to you. Fade back to black. Yeah. The church trim is what we need. Yeah. Back to basics, brother. Oh. Mm-hmm. This, you know, uh, this is your boy Rashford influencing all of this nonsense, yeah. brother. Leave he's the got gold ginger. Tips. He's got ginger Leave hair. Leave the gold now. tips he, to the flame. Yeah, 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 he's he's like, ginger. Like, ginger. Like, uh, now was he ginger? Now, ginger but listen, listen. We, 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 we obviously uh, <laughs> we spoke about <laughs> <laughs> we spoke a lot about how Arsenal are very very poor. But let's give West Ham a lot of credit. No, no, we were going to talk about Declan Rice as well. He could tie into this three perfectly. Yeah, he ties into this. Declan Rice up against his former club, absolute disaster class. He's played two games against his former club West Ham since joining Arsenal. He's lost them both five one in aggregate. Hey man, he hey, was. Hey, they got his number. They said, he's lucky. We'll send you over there. He's lucky it wasn't free no. Mission. <laughs> he's lucky it wasn't free no. He gave away that penalty at the end, and he's lucky that Rice yeah. saved. Bro, well, not even lucky to be. I don't know if you lost. guys heard it. They were ch- they were chanting Declan Rice's name like West Ham fans. Oh, so they, 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 they were just taking a piss out. It, of it. it wouldn't surprise me, of course. Listen, yeah, of course, yeah, exactly. yeah, he's one of their first trophy, football, their first European. But listen, he's allowed an off game. The way he's played this season, just it shouldn't be against your old team. I've seen some. I've seen some. I think I don't know who had the worst disaster clause against that old team. Him or Nathan Collins. Well, we'll speak about him later. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I see some Arsenal fans on online saying like they don't feel comfortable with having him at the base when be, they're trying to spin the block. Be, being a possession dominant team. Now. What are they and saying I'm though? Like, well, what are they saying? They're trying to spin the block. What are they saying now? No, that's what they're saying now. No, but I'm saying they're trying to spin the block. I mentioned another it's, it's name. His Twitter feed is different. Yeah, uh, no, 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 no. I'm game. saying they're trying to spin the <laughs> block. That's the worst thing. It's a name that's keep, now, now, now resurfacing that they want to see now back in the squad. Oh. First oh, name touched with, oh, first name touched oh, with T. TP. Yeah, what? TP. TP. We've wanted him in the squad. TP. No, 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 no. TP next to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, before they're happy. They're happy with him. 100%. Leaving. And, no, and TP5 and needs to be playing. Yeah, TP5 needs, needs to be playing. I've been asking for him. Okay, I've started to deep. This damn twist. No, no, no. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. Might be the sub, the black sheep. Yeah, I think you lot might be the black sheep. Because on social. This season, what has happened is obviously as Rice has kind of imprinted himself more and more into this team, it's become a case of. Yo, Rice can play the eight, he can play the six. He can do anything he wants, he's that good. And it, and I've always thought at West Ham, he almost thrived as like that eight, the license eight, to yeah, be the box to box. Definitely. He can be the six, but I think in terms best, of, his best, his, best if you want to yeah. get use out of his energy box and box. industry and you use that as an eight, and that's where having party there was almost set up. Now, obviously, this especially in this type of game where mm-hmm. dominant, so Junior would have been good today. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I was seeing it everywhere. Right. I, 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 I only, I only, saw only problem with physicality the because I can't yeah. lie to you, Alvarez was a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll, we'll talk about Jorginho, Alvarez yeah. after. Jorginho, you're saying Jorginho. I, I, brother, I wouldn't. But I don't know what his brother. role would have been in terms of, I think Partey, at the beginning of the season, he was playing right back. And he was and that was a funny thing. I remember at the start that was one weird experiment to this day. Arteta still haven't given an explanation for the dropping of Gabriel for the first three games or the Partey at right back experiment. The vibe I get, I just don't think he likes Partey. That's just the vibe. No, no, I think he likes Partey. I, I just think Partey is just serious. I don't think he likes Partey. <laughs> 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 I, I, I feel like last season, he knew he needed him. I'm he saying, needed him. Do you, do you, do you, let me question, but I always feel like he had the vision of his team. When he had that vision of his team, I don't think he had Partey in that vision. So I feel like once he was able to get Rice in, it was kind of like, I can phase him out type of thing. Where do you lot see like Rice's long term though? Like, do you lot see him as like the base, the sitter, the when we're building out from the back, he's the first feed? Or do you want him as the eight next to that kind of so destroy? I would, beginning of the season, my I thought, yeah, I, I wanted him to be a six more than eight, beginning of the season. Mm-hmm. But then, obviously, as the season's been going on, he has been quality when he has played the six or eight. I just feel like he ain't got that passing eye. That he can't play those. He can't play those. He can't break lines. He can't break lines. And it's, it's annoying because when I watch him, yeah, I love him. But there's times he's just too safe and he just... Hold on to the ball maybe two seconds longer think, than he should do. Do you think, yeah, that's another problem for that that is sort of a detriment to the wingers as well? Because I've seen times here where like someone's making Martinelli's a run making a run yeah, or yeah. Saka's I made a run and, and, and then right, right, yeah. he doesn't he want it. Yeah, yeah. He, he sees it. Yeah, he doesn't want he to. Looks he looks at it. He, he sees it. That's and he's too scared to do that. That's why Whereas Party would have just done that with his eyes closed. That's why. That's why going back to your earlier point, you said I think he's trying to phase out Party. I don't think he's trying to phase out Party, but he knows the Party. His availability is not the best. Yeah. So he's just figuring out the way to put. Possibly. I don't. I don't. Obviously, I'm not saying like I know that's for sure, but that's just the vibe. How many? You might be right. How many times? How many 
many times yes. have you been able to play party rice? We haven't played that midfield. Community that's Shield. Haven't played. Community Shield. That's the only time. Community Shield. Community Shield. Is that the only, only game time. you've been able to play that yeah. three? Yeah. Party. Remember, we'll he started right at right back in the season. Yeah. So he played Community Shield, that started is, at right back. That is crazy. Exactly. Yeah, to think. We haven't we're, seen those three. We're in what? Yeah. Almost going into a new year. And we haven't seen a party. haven't seen a party rice. Oh, but party's fit again. But he's fit for Ghana. He's not for France. I've never seen someone that's played more international games than Premier League games ever. Me that brother's always fit to play pre- international football. I hear you're representing your country. Is I can't get into that too. Much. But that's what that's what I said to you about Jorginho because the one Jorginho might like physicality, but the one thing he does have, he'll put that ball where you need it. He'll break the lines where you need yeah. it, and that's the one thing you miss. Like like Villa when we play Villa away, someone like a Jorginho that's going to split that pass because Declan Rice doesn't offer that. Like he, he better safe than sorry for him. Yeah. Yeah. He'll do everything else, but. He's known yeah, my listen, listen, we spoke a lot about Arsenal today. Let's give West Ham a little bit of credit as well. Like yeah. his replacement, Ma- Ma- Mavroponos, uh, came up in against us and yep. uh, haunted us. He got a really Yo good header. Mismatch, mm. mismatch. They said it was a matchup. Mismatch. mismatch. Yes. Having nice. Zinchenko on probably the biggest guy West Ham have. Mm. What's, What's his name? Mav- Mav- Mavroponos. <laughs> Mavroponos. No, I'm saying. Do you, see, do you see the, the, size, the difference? size difference? Yeah, it's crazy. And he's there trying to. He said, "Get off me!" Was, uh, it's not even was, that, bro. It's not even that. He was Arsenal's first man. signing under Seven. Seven missed an attack. It's not yeah. even that. Edson Alvarez. Isn't Edson Alvarez, right? Dog, yeah. Dog. bro. Absolutely. He's like, and he, it was crazy. He he's having a good role. season as well. Very good season. And, and, and he's not getting spoken about because yeah. obviously yeah. slept on as one. Understandably, like you got Kudus, you got Ward Prowse, you got people that have come in and just made us. Like visually, like it's in your face. It was literally 105 impact, versus 105. Listen, Alvarez is literally allowing Suchek. Look, Suchek's a new player Bro, this season. Bro, yeah. Suchek, Suchek has been allowed to go back to what he's Wait, doing. What what he was doing before. Yeah. Read the spaces, attack late mm-hmm. in the box, go and get your goals. And that's where his goal even has come from. That um, yeah. kind of late run into yeah. the box. He's the tenth. Right, Ward yeah. Prowse has now just allowed us kind of be the creative force of the midfield, if you yeah. like. And then you've got him who is just Chopper Harris in the middle almost, bruv. And I can't lie to you. I like Bowen as a nine. You, I like that as well. Yeah. I can't like How it. did I, you guys view Bowen today? Huh? Today, he, was, today he, was, he wasn't great yet. He but I, but, but, but the thing yeah. is, one thing I'll give him though is he was a nuisance. Like he was just like everywhere. And, on and, that and I'm sorry that Antonio he was thing everywhere has, on has that worn bitch. off now. Yeah. Like <laughs> and, Antonio classically in this type yeah. of game as well against Arsenal. Yeah. Bro, this is what you want. A battering ram, physical testing. Well, I feel like Bowen was doing that. Bowen was For someone his size, he was given problems. He was given problems. Not necessarily on terms of like what you're saying in terms of like he didn't have his better games in terms of output wise, in terms mm-hmm. of getting in, getting the chance of getting into the right. Spot. But in terms of like work rate, I, that's what this guy right back at one yeah. point, left back. That's when we're getting into dog fights in midfield. He was everywhere. Bro. Do you know who right. I think deserves a special mention as well? I think Emerson. Oh, oh. Left back. Lock, oh. locked up Saka, man. Yo, yeah. first he was looking like Cancelo today. Locked up Saka. Both fullbacks locked up Technically, their wings. Technically, how good this guy is, yeah, and yeah. especially think how he was looking at Chelsea a few years ago. Because mm. even when he played for Chelsea, the odd time here and there, he looked good. Looks alright, yeah. But he just never really got that kind of breakthrough. Even at Leon, even when, at Leon, he looked. So good at Leon, good. yeah, obviously some of us got BT and stuff. We would have seen it, but decent. Yeah. Comes back to. West Ham this season a lot of West Ham fans are saying he's been one of their best players this season as well so he for me I think deserves a special mention so, so you know, he goes under the radar as one of the best left backs but I think this year he's a lot of, their, a lot of their players are going under yeah, the radar yeah. but going back to what you said about Emerson Palmieri I, I knew he was having an amazing game when it was just a one on one I saw him at one point bro, I saw Ben Rama come I saw Ben Rama Bro, I saw Ben Rama come to try a double. He literally went like this. Move. He said, nah, nah, nah. I've, I've, got him. Been, I've been, I've had him all yeah. game one-on-one. Good. I'm all right now. I'm good. Those periods where Ben Rama was one-on-one against Saka, Saka's not looking to take him on. But yeah. going back to what you said, no, literally their midfield, the money they spent, they all contribute today. Facts. Yeah. All nah, contribute. Yeah. Fair, before fair before fair we move on, yeah. Because yeah. I've got a tweet here from, uh, oh no, Sharky. I don't <sighs> even know who that guy is still. I have to put this tweet yeah. on the screen now. Okay, yeah, I don't know who that brother is still. Can you send me the tweet? Um, after that? Not the, the tweet is basically he says, um, "So this is a quote to you from my United tweet with Robbie Van Persie mm-hmm. at Old Trafford." So you know he came back to Old Trafford this week. Right? Oh, did he? Yeah, 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 he, did, yeah, he, did, yeah. he did. He did. He came to watch the game. I guess Villa. A little boy. And his him. tweet was, uh, "He made his bed. Instead of coming to the Emirates to see good football, he's gone to watch them lose another home game. Say no more." Mm. <laughs> and leading into that. Let's go into <laughs> Old Trafford. Man United, 3-2 win against Aston Villa. Uh, but, just, but just to elaborate on this. Yeah, yeah, go on. He go actually on. made the right decision. Mm. Man, by coming to 
No, no, definitely, definitely. Yeah, 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 because yeah. he, yeah. he saw victory. And Imagine he went there and saw, and saw West the loss. Ham. Yeah. yeah. Which and Van Persie all clearly has a track record of making good decisions because he made the best decision of his life by coming to United. Yeah. And win the title. So for one league title. That's a matter. I mean, he won a league title. When was the last time you lot won a league title? So, my brother here, uh, Robin Van Persie, has a very good record of making good decisions, Sharky. So, I don't know. I don't know about you, but that's a United legend right there. It's comfortable in his bed. Is that a United, that's a United legend? Le- that's a United legend. I don't know about legend. Right icon. There. He's an icon for you. My brother, you man gave a guard of honour, a clap. Is he a legend? In your stadium, <laughs> to your skipper, <laughs> yeah, your best player, yeah, who left that same summer, mm, yeah, to go win the title, was top scorer, was United the best player, the best player, le- uh, P- uh, was it PFA player of the year, and you guys had to clap him. United fans, United, United, United fans. Fan. Real at Emirates. You know, remi- you know what my person reminds so, me of? It reminds me of Kwai. Hmm? At Toronto. Short stint. He won him the league. Well, the moment I remember. Yeah, he's so always going to be a legend. Regardless of what happens, he's always going to be a legend. That's absolutely. exactly what it is, baby. No, no, no. But Toronto hadn't won a, like, a chip for a while. These guys have been winning chips for... Listen, no, but he was the reason that... Let's go to the Old Trafford. Uh, you guys were 2-0 down in the first half. What mm-hmm. was your initial reaction when you were like, same old, same old? Or did you have faith? <laughs> right, no, 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 I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't have faith. Listen, I'll be a liar if I said that I thought we were going to come back in the second half. <laughs> I'll be a full... I'm, I'm a liar. No, but you told me, you, you told me, but you told us in the group chat that uh, you beat yeah, you. Like, need to stop the lies. <laughs> you know, you know I, some, I know some real shit about you. You, know? you don't know shit, man. You know, yeah. me and you went holiday together. I know some. Oh! Yeah, so, you know, if you want to do that, we can go there. Yeah, you know, you know, we can go there. Yeah, it's oh, but if you want to, if you want to, if you want to, you know, you know, I know some know shit about you. Hey, no, hey, yeah, yeah, you know, I know some shit about you. Did you look at? Did you look him differently after that? I also got the, I also got the drop on what you was doing locked in behind closed doors. So you know, if you want to, I told you, I told you how much. Listen, that's what I'm saying. So if you want to go there and start telling lies, I'll tell the real shit. I'll tell the real shit. Yeah, real uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? I like hey, this man. Bad, you know. I like this. It's funny. Bad. He put his head down. He shut up. So now you can carry on. Now. So <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But anyway, like the first half when nah. you saw that happen, two 0 oh, down. Shambolic, you, bro. Yeah. Shambolic. Like, it's everything that's everything that could have gone wrong in the in 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 the game of football went wrong for us in that first half. Guys weren't winning their fifty fifties. It's almost like I'm not gonna lie to you. Watching that first half, I thought. These players have lot, completely lost faith in the manager. They're not playing for the manager anymore. Mm-hmm. That's what it looked like to me. I can't, so, bro, the second goal. Oh yeah, oh. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I can't Free run that. from. Now, I thought it was done. T- when I you talk about like statue esque, and when you say, because I, I remember I tweeted that as well. I was like, these players don't look like they're playing. <laughs> the man watched the ball get crossed in, and they all stood there. Every how man many man? How many man? How many man? Hips. Every single do, one do, of them. Do you know what moment was uh, just as bad as that? Yeah, it was when the Declan Rice goal against you guys. When Declan Rice managed to con- got the cross in, yep. control the ball in your area, yeah, and, and nobody came towards, towards him. him. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what? To be fair, yes, though, then? oh, the Gabriel one. Uh, uh, yeah, he was pulling I everything. Was <laughs> Let's be real. Let's keep it 100% mm. real, but they got away with it. I that, heard Leo Bailey was like making jokes before it as well. Was that the first goal? That was the, that was the first goal. The first so goal, yeah. That was hilarious. I can't lie to you. So it was mm-hmm. you, the free kicks being set up, yeah. the runs behind them. And I, yeah. s- I swear to you, you said something to him. Hey, boy, listen to me. Hey, boy. Boom. Yeah, boy. Just dust. And on answer, ha ha. Everybody like a dusty you. Boom. Cooked. Everybody like a dusty you. <laughs> Some, I'm telling you. Like like <laughs> Bart Simpson. Insert here what he said. <laughs> oh, Andre. <laughs> Wait, what yeah. Nah, them two goals, nasty goals to concede. Two nil down. Goals when at the half time. You, but, yeah. But that, was that initial hope for you? You said, I can see us getting back into this game because of the way Aston Villa's high line was. I don't know what Eric Tanak told him in the change room, you know? No, do you know what it is? Show me yeah. something else in the I second thought, half. I thought it was second half, it was almost poor game. Do you think you threw a what ball? Mm. I think. Yeah, I think it was. As, as much as I was going to say, United were rising, I thought it was poor game management from what Villa. What were you going to say? No, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought someone said something. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, yeah. He's got him on notice. I like <laughs> this. I like that. Uh, what you say? You say something. You say something. <laughs> yeah, I bitch. looked at him and laughed. I was <laughs> thinking about something else. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know some things about you, stop there. <laughs> hey, bro. I know, some, I know some shit about you, too. <laughs> oh, that, you can reveal that. I don't care. He's He's not a He's a guy. He don't care. Hey, man. Have you met me? I thought Villa in the second half. I agree with you. Kind of. Yeah, it was a, a bit of both. It was a bit of both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that, is that for, for oh, sure? Uh, the amount of praise we give it, but doesn't that give you a little old school Emery? You see? 
Arsenal fans are waiting it's for this. Oh, that's, that's why I love it. That's why I love it. It's nasty work. They couldn't even let you analyze the game. They couldn't let me. Why can't I objectively analyze Emery without being without being related to an Arsenal fan? Nasty work. Because you had to wait till nearly the new year to do it. No, I was talking about. I was not talking uh, about Arsenal what, times. What was he, what was he, what was I was talking about uh, PSG Barcelona when he was winning one 0 at half time and then conceded five. Thank you. <laughs> six, you six. Six. <laughs> you hey, <laughs> he's got history. He's got, <laughs> you know when this guy talks about receipt in the Emery PSG, whatever you want to talk about, he's got that. Bro, Good, oh, really what were you, you gonna say? No, I was saying Villa. I thought they were to blame yeah. as well. For the yeah, did he do this? Did he do this? He yeah, he went fifty nine points. Yeah, fifty nine points. Amazing, huh? Yeah, he's cold for that one. He's like, but you know what it is? That second half though, they showed me United showed me the the, the just the desire, the mentality, the attitude that we've that's all that's all you know that's all. Regardless of what what where you stand in terms mm-hmm. of Man United, Ten Hag, the ball, the club, whatever, the bare minimum that every Manchester United fan want to see is what we saw in effort, half. effort, hunger, hunger, desire, wanted to win every ball, wanted to put challenges in, want to to get up the pitch. Wanted to create chances. That's all we're asking for. We're not asking you to go out every single week a batter team six seven nil. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I always say this, yeah, and I'm always and I'll always stand by this. I don't care if we lose a football game. I just care about the manner in which we lose football games. Right, stop. Because anyone can lose it. Because any team can lose a, fo- a game, a football game of football. But it's how you lose those games. And my United this season had this pattern of we're, we're getting embarrassed. We're like we're embarrassing ourselves when we're losing games. Like we're not doing the basics. There's yeah. more lack of effort. It's, it's they play as if they're doing us a favor by playing. Yeah. They're doing my United a favor. Yeah, 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 yeah. They play as if they're doing us a favor by playing for my United. Do That's you, how it comes across. Yeah. What, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say. Do you think Ten Hag playing some of the younger lot over the past couple of weeks has um, almost removed what you're saying there? That those players that feel like, yeah. hey, I'm doing you a favor. Yeah. Some of these kids are like, nah, I'm delighted to be. Nah, I'm, for sure. I'm looking at like Hannibal. him, the, the dangle Hannibal subs yeah. the last couple of minutes to just. Rather than sit back and invite pressure, mm-hmm. nah, suffocate these men in yeah. the last couple of minutes. Uh, Kwanwala, we saw starting the other and day. He came uh, on, and he came Kobe on. Kobe <laughs> yeah. in he threw him deep in deep Liverpool. End. Yeah, so yeah. Garnacho, you've seen how the last mm-hmm. month he's kind of really set. Yeah. And even Garnacho going right wing. Can we speak bro, on that a little yeah, bro, bit, please? I, but because you know is, yeah, I, I saw that vision already in the Arsenal game. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that vision already in the Arsenal yeah, game when yeah. he played in that last 10, 15 minutes where he was causing problems on the right-hand yeah. side. So I always thought, why this, like, why are we forcing... And I know, okay, Rashford was out of form, but at the end of the day, his best position, and if he keeps complaining like his best position left, put Rashford on the right, try yeah. it. And, and, and I can't believe it took this long to experiment that. And do you know what's yeah, crazy yeah. as well? Is you almost feel like it's a... Uh, you've got to earn that left-wing position. Yeah, you've got to earn it, And I'm like, as a way of almost earning that... Give him minutes on the right. right. Let him earn and it. If he could do that well enough, you yeah. could transfer him to the left. And I feel like that almost unlocked a little something yesterday where you're like, yo, we actually have another right wing option yeah. right there. And he looks Ahmad more... Diallo coming back yeah. soon as well could give you a little yeah, something, sure. something there. And, and what is adding all... more to that yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. youth yeah. exuberance as well. Also, with Ganacho playing on the right, it kind of forces him now. Because when he's on the left, obviously, he likes Cutting to dib- That word you use, dibble-dabble. He likes yeah, to do yeah, that yeah, with yeah, the ball yeah. on the left. On the right, because obviously he's predominantly right foot. He has it, to be. He has to be. And not only that, he's now, Effective, it's yeah. becoming more of a, like, it, uh, uh, it's kind of like it just switched overnight. Like, now he's just thinking about, how can I get into the box? Because mm-hmm. I know that ball's going to always come to the left. Rashford's always have that ball on the left. How can I make myself now available to get into those goals, 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 goals positions? Like, those like five, six times, he could have scored more goals. Yeah. He had a goal that was ruled out for offside. He could have scored a lot of goals on that night. Mm-hmm. But it's just the fact that now he's like, once he gets the ball, he just opens himself up and he just wants to hit because he knows he can't do the dibble dabble because yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he yeah. have to force him on his, onto his left. And I don't know if he's that confident on his left. But that's just in terms of the game. In terms of like, just the attitude of the whole team in general, bro. I feel like that is just basically what we fundamentally, as a Man United fan, just want to see. We just want to see bare that minimum. fight. Uh, the bare minimum. minimum. We're only asking for the bare minimum. Yeah. Which is just to show us that you want to fight for the badge. Mm. That is it. So mm. that's is that, what it is. Is that what Leas and Abs wanted as well? <sighs> Leas and Abs. Okay. Yeah, let's so, chat about it. Let's nah, chat about it. Obviously, you lot were here trying to run jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so, the whole, the whole yeah. episode was leave right, and so. listen, yeah? And I and I noticed watching last week's episode that you guys don't actually, no one really understands my <laughs> stance. They just view my stance as me basically saying- Stubborn. Uh, no, they want, they taking it as I'm saying, don't sack the manager. It's Ten yeah. Hag, I'm Ten Hag in. Riding out Ten, I'm not ten, ten Hag. I'm not Ten Hag in, I'm not Ten Hag out. My stance is about the way this football club is being run. 
and the cycle, this continuous cycle that we keep going through, mm-hmm. where we just keep sacking manager, bringing a new manager, and assuming that all our problems are just going to vanish and disappear, and that all of a sudden we're going to play the best football that you, we could possibly play. It doesn't work like that. We've been through that cycle. My 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 stance is this: Ten Hag, yes, he's made mistakes. Yes, yes, he's got. Uh, he deserves to be criticised. There's a lot of times these things he's done this season. I don't agree with, and, I, and I've, I've publicly criticised him for it. I've criticised the players, I've criticised the manager, and I've criticised the board and the club as a whole. Yeah. But my thing is, what is the solution? Yeah, and I keep asking all the guys that are that have contrasting opinions to me. I ask them, what is the solution? Their solution is sack the manager. That's a cycle. That's basically you just basically saying you want to just do the same bullshit again. Mm-hmm. Go that's the whole thing all that, over again. That's yeah. insanity because how many times are we going to go through that cycle over and over well, again? You're, gonna, you're, you're just saying the manager's not the problem. The cycle. I'm saying break the cycle. And mm. if the break in the cycle means Ten Hag has to stay longer, let that run mm. because we need to get through this bullshit. Yeah. Get through this nonsense. We got a, 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 well, a mini takeover yeah. basically happening where changes are about to happen. Let those change. Let Ten Hag, because at the end of the day, this is the problem. And we even have almost let the end of this season let the new owners use it as a trial period for him, if you like, to yeah. see if he's let them enough s- for their project. There you go. Let him see that. It, let, let them, first of all, build their structure, bring their men in, get everything sort of laid up because this season is already a write-off. Yeah. So would you so not say you know, with your new owners, because like you said, he's bringing his people in. Mm-hmm. So would he be not be looking at everything now going, I'm, I'm a new owner, so I'm bringing in my, that's my fine. That's what Chelsea do. That's okay. Tom 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 said, Yo. No, I would expect that when Ratcliffe comes in, that he probably has his man. Or oh, it could be Tenal. Maybe we don't know. But I'm saying that he could. Be, I would assume any time an owner comes in, they already have their vision of who mm-hmm. they want them to manage, who they, they want their men to Great be around Potter. them. And uh, whether it's Graham Potter or not, wherever they, it, it's not. It's normal for an owner to come in and bring their own people. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, for this season, let this manager get through this season, let him try to solve these issues. Can I ask let him get question, to though? the end of the season and then we can reassess once the new owners have settled in yeah. and once we can identify what we feel like are the issues, we can then address it. Should, Just getting mm. rid of him and bringing an interim or bringing another coach midway through the season doesn't solve nothing because the results are inevitably still going to be bad. Yeah. It's the same group of players. What do you make of uh, Rasmus getting his first Oh, incredible. It's miracle, man. It's a, it's a miracle. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me in the run. <laughs> it's a miracle. Uh, no, but I'm, I'm obviously happy for him to yeah. get his goal. Hey, you can see the, on, on his face what it meant oh, to him. 100%. Yeah, he yeah, wanted yeah. to cry and I respect it. No, no, no. no fully. Yeah. Because yeah. And if he did cry, you would understand it. No, I don't know. Good goal as well, mind you, as well. It was on the volley, instinct, instinct. on the spin. Instinct, the, yeah. yeah. Literally, it was striker's yeah. instinct that you yeah, almost yeah. felt like got a couple in the Champions League. Yeah. Do you think this is now kind of like First of many to come, or I think Ericsson Hogg said that. I think this might be the spark, not just for him, but just for the team in general. Yeah, because I feel like now you see Canacho, he he he's he's obviously come to life mm-hmm. now. You got Rashford who had an amazing game by the way. Yeah, yeah, we be criticizing him. You know, I feel like it is. But you know, I feel like it is. Today, that game, he the dog came out mm. all of a sudden. But you know, what I feel like that, it is regarding yeah. that game. Yeah, yeah. When you guys played them, obviously first half he wasn't great. Second half, it was like the old school Man United, but with. As as you saying about Una Emery, where is it is it his is it his fault that they lost or is it just Man United turned it around? And I feel like it's a bit of both because mm-hmm. what is Rashford's best attributes? Off the ball running. Yeah. When he gets in behind. Mm-hmm. And what do what do, we've been saying for weeks? I've been I remember screaming on the pod going, All you gotta do against Villa is mm-hmm. get in behind because play such a high line. Yeah. What have you guys got? You've got speedy striker you've got speedy two wingers you've got you finally got the midfield right technically in terms of Ericsson Bruno and, and Kobe because yeah. they can all play that one touch so, get in uh, behind uh, one through ball and you're yeah. doing that six no, no, times Ericsson is, is a game changer bro six like, times when, and that's Ericsson, what killed them I, one thing I've noticed one Ericsson plays well the whole team plays well and it's not a coincidence because he's almost like so sort of like Sort of our dictator in that midfield. He has to be. He's the one that sort of sets the pace. Yeah, string puller basically in the team. So we kind of been missing that because we had to use Amrabat and uh, like Tom and Emil and they're not that type of player. So to bring in him back into the team is a huge boost. You know what that's benefit off as well. Yeah. Bruno's benefit off that of as well course. because he's mm-hmm. playing with technical players, players that can do the one twos. Don't need to do. Uh, are in the right spaces when yeah. you've got headless chickens like McTominay running yeah. naked in midfield for sure. no reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can't. That's why everyone's going, what's happened to Bruno? It's yeah. not that. Surround Bruno with players that are capable of playing his kind of football. Facts. 
you see the best. No, and that's what no. happened. And, 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 that's, like, that, and that's my thing. When I say ride a storm, I'm saying ride a storm <laughs> because let, 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 one, let, let him figure it ride out. Ride a storm. Because I don't see, I don't think, no, no, but 100% ride a storm because we've, we hey, need. Storm, you know that. No. Yeehaw. No, I'm, when I'm saying ride a storm, I'm yeah. not saying Ten Hag. I'm not saying keep Ten Hag. Yeah. I'm saying let's get through this bullshit. Let, let, let's try to avoid this cycle that we're in of just getting rid of man, bringing someone and just assuming that all our problems are going to disappear. Yes. Let's yeah. get over that. Also, understand the fact that this guy doesn't have a full squad. A half of our squad is coming back in January. But you know, we got Alessandro coming back. We got Casemiro coming back. We got Mason. Everyone's coming back within the next two weeks. But my yeah. argument with you when is it's naturally you saw how the impact Ericsson made. When these players come back, the team will naturally improve. I hate players. Players. No, but it will improve. So let, let's not like, the same way we, we credited Ten Hag for having the season that he had last season. Yeah. He had a good season. It was a success. And I feel like now that he's become a sort of a victim to that because everyone sort of now held him to that standard. Held him to that standard. Uh, deservedly though. No, deserve, deservedly. Yeah. But what I'm saying is the season that we're having this season, I felt like should have been the season we had last. Yeah. yeah. Realistically, swap them around, swap them around, and it would be and normal trajectory. Would have been a trajectory. Yeah. But because obviously, the thing is, is in a trajectory, you're not allowed to go backwards. You're not allowed, yeah. regardless. Of, and and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. the maddest thing is, that's why I, I find it so mad hard with, with Lias. Yeah, it's because Lias like, admitted. Like Lias, yeah, saying, yeah, because he's no, no, because schooling you know why? Right you know why? Lias last season, we and him, we went to the FA Cup final together, bro. We had yeah. a conversation after the game. We said, "What would you rate the season?" And we both agreed, like. Six, seven. Six and a half, seven. Yeah. We kind of both bounced around that. Mm -hmm. And we said, yeah, it's a good season. I think we said that he definitely exceeded. He, we said, both me and him, but like he, 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 he can vouch on this. We agreed that, um, There's work. Uh, no, Ten Hag pushed above his weight with the squad. Yeah. He said he'd done wonders with the squad. We both agreed to that. Mm -hmm. So for him to then now switch up because he, that it's simply because Ten Hag is not getting results. Yeah, he's saying style of football and pattern of play, but you're looking at the squad that he's having to play, play the team sheets that he's having to put we, we, uh, week in and week out. Last week, he had to play Kam uh, I think Kamala. Where, where, where I hate no, but, where I, but, I, but, but I hate Abs and Lias with yeah. that. No, I hate him with that. And I, hate and that. I was going to say, yeah, because I think that's where in some aspects, what Abs and Lias are saying, I do understand. I'm with them 100% with that. With, for example, the signings like a Mason Mount, like an Amrabat. Yeah. Even like a Varane, how he's kind of, brought them in and not really you even was, uh, Anthony uh, I'm sorry yeah. but you definitely got initially Royland yeah. 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 and it was like it's just none of those deals have really ended up looking good Casemiro yeah. how a year later he can almost look expired and after Saudi that, I think it was looking a little bit rusty at the start yeah, of the season a, that's all it was yeah. but I just think the way he's incorporated a lot of those signings and the fact that your style almost went backwards because the first half yeah. of the season last year it looked like you was trying to figure something yeah, out yeah. then it went into all right, survival we're, we're in cut mode, survival, survival mode. This, mode. Survival yeah. bro. this season, I, I said, I think with the injuries mm -hmm. and things like that, you've still kind of gone in survival. Yeah. But I think there should have been <coughs> some form of improvements, if that makes sense. Because even with yeah. Ange, for example, yeah. when you're seeing that on the other side, all right, we've got all these injuries. But we're still able to kind of put something together yeah. where it looks like, all right, we'll talk about the Brian That's where I sit different compared to you. That's where I sit with Ange. Yeah, you. that's where I hear with their arguments that, he should be doing more. Okay. Especially with now, what he's been now, given. Now, and I'm like... Now, let me hear, now hear my counter argument to that. Okay. And, I, and I agree that Ten Hag should be criticised for his signings because yeah. his signings haven't been great. And a lot of the money that he spent is, is just... It was, it's wasteful. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, you can't excuse yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. these and stuff. Yeah. This is another thing I want to ask, though. Why aren't managers allowed to make their mistakes and rectify those mistakes? Mm. This is because, what I Because you look at Arteta, you look at Klopp, you look at things. They've all made signings that they... Clearly, they've made mistakes and they've rectified it. They were allowed to rectify them. You look at Pep Guardiola when he brought in Bravo. He rectified that. He realised, okay, this is not my keeper. I'm, next summer, I'm going to sign another keeper. Mm -hmm. You got, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, Arteta with the fullbacks. He signed Tavares. He realised, this guy is not the guy. <laughs> I'm getting <laughs> shipping him off. Got, brought in Zinchenko. Yeah. So I'm saying, managers, the problem with my, being a Man United manager is that Even from, the, from the day you get the job, there's immediately like a huge amount of pressure from media, from rival fans, from journalists, from every corner that when things don't go wrong, you're kind of like, okay, do I do what and just kind of go with the Andrew process to say, I'm going to try to make it work the way I want to make it work. Mm -hmm. Or is it, you know what, let me just adapt and just now force myself to, because at the end of the day, when you're coming into a team, you have to still work with players that you've got. It's not only about players that you're bringing in, right now you bring players in, but you also still have to work with the group of players that you've got. Yeah. And it takes time, like our test of three, four years to wield out the ones that you feel like, yeah, okay, I can work with this guy, but I can't work with him. Yes, he's made more mistakes than we had expected of a manager that we thought was that guy, 
But at the end of the day, why is he not being allowed to have that time to rectify those mistakes? Because he's been doing it in terms of on the pitch. He's realizing Rashford's not playing well. I'm gonna, he's, he's not scared to be like Rashford. Go, you're just sitting on the bench. Yeah. Game. But those two, he's but dropped. Yeah. He's dropped Varane. He's dropped Sancho. He's dropped Ronaldo. He's I dropped De Gea. He's dropped all these. Like he's trying. Like if he was, if he was shook, he would have done what Oli was doing and just playing guys. The same guys all the time. Whether it's bad game, to be fair, I felt like he was doing that up until the last couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, and but then and he the just, last couple of weeks he's just been like, you know what, you don't me up. Yeah, I'm basically gonna lose my jobs. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play the kids, and now that's kind of giving him a little bit yeah. of breathing space. I feel yeah. like. Well, you know, with me, I think he should double down with all these youngsters that yeah. he's because I think Hannibal. I remember in the Crystal Palace Cup game, yeah, he played wicked as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Banger, isn't it? yeah. yeah I'm like, oh, yeah. give these youngsters, oh, Brentford, let them take over no, the squad because all? they are yeah. not affected with that hangover of yeah. what you've had over the you past know my couple argument years. They're regardless fresh off that. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, as you're saying, if you want him to kind of build his new identity or whatever, weed out those old guard, if you like, yeah. the, the McToms, the Maguires, whatever. But he tried that. People and have to he understand, did. he did try. And, and, and then now refused. he's back in they the mode refused. of, now he's back in the mode of, all right, I need these guys. But yeah. I'm sorry, long term, you can't. But this no, is no, my argument. Because, because guess what? He's you live no, by those, no, no, you're going to die by those. No, this is your argument. No, but you're right. No, but I'm saying you're right. No, hold on. I'm saying you're right by that because, but the thing is, he's, no, but also, that's what I say that it comes back to like, now it comes back to the club as a whole because the players that you've mentioned, he's tried to get rid of them and the club will fail to get rid of them for him. Obviously, he's had to rely. He's had to rely on those same players. He's had to rely on those same players because of so what the injuries. Chair, like, the screen has yeah. become thin. The, the squad has become thin. You just go. You just go. <laughs> yeah, listen. You know, you can't leave out. You know, he said he's, he's been saying, "Yo, but I've got a point." Well, like, I've been, you know, I've been trying to because you know I've been trying to. But when you go seven minutes, no, you know I know, you know, you know I know some shit about you. <laughs> you keep it quiet today. Yeah? <laughs> we don't want to hear, man. I want to. This is my point. Yeah, go no, say your this, point. This is what we're talking about. Regarding your thing. I don't, there, there has, I haven't seen no identity in your club. As a fan, the one thing you want to see is an identity. A few identities. What can I, what kind of, what kind of style are we going to play? And am I riding out for with this storm? Mm. With you guys, he started early. He's clocked days at Man United. Survival mode. His survival mode took him to third and won him an FA Cup. And Carabao, that's Carabao, warranted. Carabao, Carabao. Carabao Cup. And that's warranted fans like you, Lias, Abs to go. You know what? He's had a seven out of 10 season. The crap that he's had to work with, and the way he could he could it, it, your, I remember your argument with mm. me was Abdullah he can't he can't he can't play his style of play because of the crap he's got with him in his mm. squad, mm -hmm. and I was like yeah you know what you're right he's Casemiro's masked himself in terms of be, looking like a decent footballer until now where he's kind of been found out let's okay let's, let's, okay, okay cool. now your argument is because you're right cool last season was survival mode he could finish fair now coming into the new season. How many games has Shaw played? How many games has Mount played? How many games has Casemiro played? How many has Lissandro played? How many has Varane played? How many has uh, 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 um, uh, Ericsson played? How many of his big players that he had last season that got us to where you, they, they were, we were last season, how many of them have played games this season? Okay, my argument. And then, okay, and then, my and then, and then the ones that were performing, like Bruno and Rashford, are they performing to the same level? They're not they performing to the same level, and I agree. But the, at the same time, no. But I'm just saying uh, that's an no, no, added, that's added, that's added, added. That's so another. My, that's another. My, my, my counter argument, my, my so counter -argument, argument to your thing is yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. It's not like they was all gone at the same period of time. They were. So, they so, were. So, so, so Varane, they were. So Varane, Varane, Shaw, Shaw Mount, Casemiro, Lissandro. They were. They were like, we had like nine players, first okay, teams okay, out okay, at the same time. Not for not for one week, not for two weeks, Old. for for like two. No, no, literally right. no, no, the no, no, end no, no, of last month. No, so, so, some of, some of, what the no, hell? No, some of them were like that. You're right. No, no, see, no. that's what I'm saying to you. Like people, like they're not using their logic. We haven't had. You're the wrong. We haven't. No, no, no. We have. How about this? How about this? How about this? We have Manchester United. We haven't had a full fit squad since March. Wow. Okay, cool. Newsflash. Okay, no. Six okay, cool. March, okay, okay. okay. And no. you're telling Manager me, yeah, yeah, that cannot, and, and, and people want, and people say, oh, uh, uh, um, what do you call it? Oh, but they still need to see some sort of identity with what? You want to see identity with Evans, McTominay, uh, uh, Maguire, and then you got Regulon, who's on loan for six month period because he's got signed on an emergency deal. Then you got, uh, 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 what do you call it? Anthony, who's clearly been a flop, but he has no choice because Sancho all of a sudden wants to, you know, play uh, COD, COD at night and doesn't want to come to training. So you got all these issues at the same time. You, furthermore, yeah, because I'm now I'm going to switch it on to you. You were like all season, it. all season, you were selling to, to, to me, telling me, oh, the hair is the problem. The hair needs is. to go. Hold on, hold on a it second, was. yeah? 
Who was? You yeah. said that the hair was not good enough because. Oh uh, yeah, he uh, wasn't. And Abs was another one because he had yeah, that pose. Where? What clubs he got now? What clubs well? he got yeah. now? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. 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 Forget that. Forget that. What would you call it? The pose. Listen. Let me hold on. Let me let me let me get onto you. Know why? Because you said last season that the hair and we said what is he good at in terms of he's just good at uh, shot. Uh, okay, cool. shot he's only good at um, shot stopping, right? Yeah. He facts. said he's not demanding in the box. He facts. always stays on his line. Facts. Yeah. This or none of you. What is he good at? Tell me what he's got apart, other than receiving the ball and playing nice little cute passes and playing this sort of tiki taka football. What is he good at? It, is he he's done? Actually, no, he's no, no, actually hold one of the better keepers in the Premier League. Shut up! Shut up! Yeah, because you said that. Listen, shut up! Hold on, hold on. No, 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 we a have, ball playing goalkeeper. Yeah, a ball playing goalkeeper, yeah, which yeah. we have done. Because yes. Onana is identified as a ball goal playing keeper, yeah? You criticise De Gea for certain things like not, not being demanding in, in, in the box or not Facts. coming off his line, yeah, not, 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 not dominating crosses and that, Facts. whatever. He's, bro, he's not, right not, not, all that. No, that's Facts. right. I'm not agreeing with yeah. that. But you brought a bozo no. who's worse at that. No, 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 no. He's, he's, no, 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 no. he's a worse sweeper. Oh, give me that. No, 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 oh, no, 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 He's a sweeper. No, sweeper is different, yeah? Coming off your line, yeah? No, no, hold on, hold on. No, no, hold on, hold on. What's the word? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's how I felt. That's how I felt. Because you're going to have this De Gea. No, hold on. Let me land. You guys could go all evening. This is it with Liban. This is it with Liban. He lost an argument last year. No, listen. I'm not trying to speak. I'm not trying to speak. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let me tell you. No, it's not a poor because I'm not trying to say De Gea was going to be the answer. That's what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is the guy that's been replaced, yeah? I mean, the guy that's come in to replace De Gea has been far worse than any now, season that I've ever seen the Hale play for Manchester okay, United. Now. He's cost us so many points, so many games, Champions and it's League. only not even the new year. Champions yeah. League. Yeah. 100%. Wait, 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 we wait, will wait, still wait. be in the Champions League if we had the Hale. Okay. That is a fact. You wouldn't win it though. Oh, man, I don't you care. Win we won't you win it with this you. We won't win it with this you. even if you qualified, you wouldn't have won it. We won't win it with this guy though. We won't win it. We can't win it with this because we're out. We're out. I agree. We're out of the league. We're out of Come on, bro. Does a player not deserve no Grace period now. When they sign no. for a new club, new country, new system. Oh, no. Use this argument. Use this argument. You just said. Thank you. Sat there and Thank you. Thank you. How disjointed your squad is. Thank you. Yeah. Ran hasn't been yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Go on. Go on. Yeah, yeah. So Casemiro. That's three of his starting lineup in front of him. So you're telling me this goalkeeper doesn't have sufficient protection, but now you expect him to play. Okay. Now. Okay. I agree. There have been games. Hold on. Hold on. There have been games where he has finished him. But has there not been as an actual improvement in your build-up play from the back? In a prime example of Villa, if you saw the first 20 minutes, they were shook to press you high up. You know why? You go back to him, he plays the one ball over the top. Hold it's up. complete. Hold and on. I think, I I think the now here this year, on. short term, it might hurt you. But long term, Onana is going to be a much better goalkeeper than De Gea was. Hold on, hold on. Do not use this little I'm rough start you, as, a, as a thing. Where is De Gea currently? Where is De Gea? No, no, no. And they're going to miss him in January. They're going to miss him in January. I see him. You know, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, you know that thing where you accused Leah's early? Yeah. Yo, you jumped off the United season game yeah. in three. Stay on that side. Yeah. Don't do that. I'm to doing. I'm, already, I'm doing it already. Don't do I'm it doing it right now. I'm telling because you. Because no. I'm telling you. I'm telling you now that goalkeeper you don't will not. We, you're saying that he's gonna long term be better than what De Gea was. Mm. I don't. <laughs> I don't see it. Like I don't see you're it. You're gonna forget who De Gea is, bro. You lot. Uh, you lot. You lot. Look. The thing is, you're mentioning things, yeah. No, no, Spanish you're saying your... grace period, yeah. <laughs> I'm all, I, nah, I'm brother. all. Listen, I'm not... I gave what's in my man? What's his name? Number oh, no, twenty-one. No, no. Number twenty-one. I 24, gave him twenty-four. No, 21, well. 21, 21, Though I gave oh. twenty-one a one-year grace period, yeah? yeah, because he's played obviously as a rival. Because he, you know why? Because there were times where he's not necessarily bad. He's just not yeah. doing enough. So I said, give him time. He yeah. might, he might stop. He might, he no, might, no, no. He but might you know what the difference is? But you see, you see, but. What the difference no, no, between no, no, Onana no. and Anthony is Onana, he can't even bro. No, no, there's Onana games has where actual he's proof caught the ball of being a top and the player. ball's gone in the back of the net. Anthony doesn't. No, shall I tell you what what great period do you need for that? Oh, Fred, Fred, you know what the reason? What great period do you need for catching the ball? Oh, no, uh, Fred, 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 for catching no, the ball. No, 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 what I've great period do you need for that? That's bro, your bro. job. Some That's of them, some job. of them are howlers. You can't defend some of that. They're shocking howlers, bro. But he's saying, but he's saying, ride the temporary storm. You are not gonna use this. I'm not riding that storm. No, 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 I'm not riding that storm. You're riding. 
hailstorm from last year. I'm not riding the hailstorm. You just tried to. Give me Dean Henderson. Give me Dean Henderson. We're doing the same thing. Dean Henderson. I'll take him. I'll take him. I'll take him. Give me, give me Heaton. This is blasphemy. Give me Heaton. Give me, give me that Kovac you. Just not him. Altai. Just not. Give me Altai. Read all those names. Listen, Altai. I'm telling you, Kova. Dean. You know what I realized? What? You just don't like black goalkeepers. That's fine. If I'm racist, I'm I like you, that racism. <laughs> yeah. If that's racism, bring him up. Bring, give me more of that. I need more of that racism. <laughs> if that's racism, give me more of that. Nah. That's what I need. Nah, Which, I can't have this. It's the Make magnitude. America great again. Well, listen, I'm <laughs> Onana, bro. I, I, I agree, I agree. I think Onana <laughs> has had moments, <laughs> but you're going, well, you know you're going too far. Because his moment is lose the goals. Spot. That's why you can. That's what Anthony with can have a great spirit. Keeper is like that, bro. With, with keepers, every keeper is like that's that. That's why I'm he's sorry. upset. When Edison first came in and he was being rash and City fans, bro, people were saying, oh, he could cost us gold. Bravo, I remember they were saying the same thing. But for me, I think Onana has shown himself enough at Inter Milan, at Ajax, that he is a top level goalkeeper, in my opinion. And, and if, you're gonna, that match if, United, you're, gonna, if you're not going to give him the grace no, period of man. coming into a new team, a new league, Johnny as Evans you, and Lindelof in front of him. You said yeah, a mismatched right. defense Bro, in front of him. Whatever his name is, Chai Wally. Whatever his name is. Listen, say yes. Yes. Listen, oh, every time. Oh, 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 no you know why I'm not here in the hell? Listen, next game. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Bro, we said like that. No, 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 no. Move on. Listen, no, no. I'm not having that one. I'm not having that one. You're saying hater. Mismatched defense. No. He said you got that Chai Wally in front of him. Chai Wally. I don't know what his name is. I don't know what his name is. No, I don't care. I don't care what defense he has in front of him. The, some of the goals he's conceded has no, no nothing that. to do with the defense. No it's his that. own individual but, mistakes but that have real. cost us. But the Champions League has cost us points in the league from his own error. But it's not, not been much not in the defense prem. in front of him. But it's not been it's much in the prem. The ball coming in and he just doesn't fail to catch it. Or he catches the ball and somehow he's in the back of the net. My brother, there's goals. Can they not close out quicker? The, the Hay has had individual bro, mistakes, by the way. No, no, the Hay has had mistakes. No, 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 no. Listen, the Hay the has had mistakes, yes. but you see, from someone like the Hay, he's been on the cover 10 years. He's got. He's got credit in the bank. I love it. I love he's it. got I credit love in the bank. Love it, his brother. Wait, 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 you can't wait, come in. No, you don't have to because you can't wait, come into the new club and do that many mistakes. Come on, he's the hair. Grab a chill. They brought back good memories from. Trying to turn me on. No, you need to slow down. You trying to slow down. Those shoulders. You know we. You know we was putting work. Let's focus. Listen, how did De Gea, you see this De Gea yeah. love that you've got for yeah. him. Right. How, how did he look the first year? He, how he did the first year? He was horrendous first year. <laughs> how did he do it? Hold on, hold on. But, but you know why? You know why? Hold on, hold on. It was under 30, that's why I let him off. Listen, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, forget that, forget that. Forget that, forget that. Forget that, forget that. Forget that. No, listen, forget that. What credit did De Gea have in the back then? Hold on, hold on, hold on. One, one thing I'll say is, no. Did he have? He didn't have any credit. Let me tell you something. There's a difference between him and De Gea. One, the hair was 19 years old. Oh, no, that's one. Nine, that's oh, no, that's number one. No, no, <laughs> 19 <laughs> where? 19 in Congo. <laughs> I don't know. I don't 19 know. in Cameroon. <laughs> where? 19 where, brother? Hey, 19 where? You don't see that uh, Douala kid. Oh, yeah, yeah. Year old. No, 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 no. Bro, allow me, brother. <laughs> Cameroon in the 17 as well. Listen. <laughs> that Manala all over again. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I'll talk about that, yeah. Yes. When, when De Gea made those mistakes as well, yeah, he got dropped for Kujak. He got, I know, not Kuchak, sorry, Lindegaard. Was it Lindegaard? Lindegaard. Lindegaard, thank you. When he was making mistakes, Lindegaard came in his place. So he got punished for those mistakes. Oh my God, I remember that, Lindegaard. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, and, and he came in, when, when De Gea was making those errors and the errors started becoming more common, Frank says, you need to, yeah, you need to ride bench. Cause I'm you're gonna, having, but you're going to get what you wish for now, because in January, he's going to AFCON. And I, you're gonna I, see need I need that. I need that. Bring me that Turkish delight. Bring me that Turkish delight. And then when Alte's making mistakes. Bring me that Turkish delight. I need that. When Alte's making mis mistakes and stuff like that, you're like, bring on Anna back. Bro, listen. Uh, Alte's going to have to. No, listen. Hold on. Alte. No, no, listen. <laughs> listen. Alte. You know what? I didn't know. I didn't know. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Levi like that. Listen, listen bro, I'll tell you. Onana's got your hair on fun. What's that? I'll tell you. Listen, what's that? I'll tell you. Listen, Onana has I, no, his hair. No, you have his height up, don't you? Listen, I, 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 up, no, I, I know why. I, I was about to make a what prediction. No, because I was going to make a prediction right now, yeah? Go on, give me a hot take. I'm telling you right now. I'll tell you in, in, wherever, in the amount of games he's going to have right now, it could be four. He's not displacing Onana. No, I'm not saying he's displacing him. Four clean sheets. He won't even make. I'm making a prediction right now. He won't even make two. 
errors that will lead to a goal. Like in terms of like his own, I can't catch the ball and it goes in the back of the net. You're not gonna see that. I can already guarantee you that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Two. You heard it Remember I first. said that he won't even make. He won't even touch two. Yeah. I think. All right, well, uh, uh, yeah. Well, listen, and when he does it, then then you could come back to me. Then you could come back to me. Because watch, if Altai does well in this month, yeah, and he and he has top games, I'm coming back for all of you. I'm spinning the blocks for oh, all yeah. three of you. Yeah, you too. You too, Bob Marley. You, you, you too, Bob yeah, Marley. Yeah, yeah. You too, Bob Marley. <laughs> David Marley. <laughs> David Marley. <laughs> <laughs> David! <laughs> 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 well, listen, that was an interesting Man United segment. What? I don't know if this was a Man United segment. Give him a tissue, man. I'm f***ing as well. I'm f***ing ass as well. What a way to end 2023. One day Muslim, one day Christian, one day American, one day Algerian, one day Canadian. That's not even what he is. I did not Christ look at you, bro. Hey. I'm coming for everyone today. Ride a storm. Ride a storm, baby. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right, well, I love this Z, man. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's move on to the next game. Let's go to the Amex uh, Brighton 4 2 win against Tottenham Hotspur. It's time for you. Let's spin the block on Tottenham. Ten <laughs> carry on, what carry was I saying? Ten Hag. I said Ten Hag. We need to ride a storm, baby. Are you riding an storm? <laughs> You're not riding Ooh. it. Ooh. What are you, you trying to say? You're done. You're done with Ange. We said, are you trying to ride a storm with Ange? Click oh, that whoa, whoa. and post it on Twitter, no, Hasib. No, 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 you no, no, thank no, no, you. You were shaking your head. You said, hey, out of you, context, oh, that looks no, no, great. No, Thanks for that. Appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate you. <it. laughs> I'm yeah. going to cut it down. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hey, man. That's crazy. Yeah. No, but I thought you said that you were riding Ange. I was like, no. Ooh, <laughs> no, we cool, said man. riding the storm. We're riding the storm. Riding the storm, man. Storm, man. Ain't no storm, man. Listen. It's clear skies. Today was storm, man. Today was just an unequivocal, like, cooking. There's mm. no, there's no other way to really look yeah. at it, bro. We, we turn up to the Amex with a centre back pairing of Emerson Royale and Ben Davis. I, I really like Emerson Royale, you know. Do you? Mm. What do you like about him in particular? He's Brazilian. Spire. Is he really though? I don't think he's Brazilian. I think he's from Hadagasa, where you're from. I'm <laughs> real facts. Each <laughs> time, that's what I am. <laughs> hey, all tight, all tight, all tight, all tight, all tight. <laughs> but uh, now, nah, listen, that was, the, bro, we got absolutely cooked mm -hmm. in that game. I mean, from minute one, to be fair, the first was it 10, 15 minutes. I thought it was going to be like a little to and fro. I thought, yeah, we're playing good build up, if you like, as we normally do. I think over the past couple of weeks, you've seen even with the injuries of suspension, we're still able to keep our style of play. I think Brighton, are, they've got their own injuries, but they're almost a little bit more drilled into playing that way I feel like and they looked it they looked a little bit more impressive I know they had a few of their squad they, players they got Estupinian coming, coming back Estup we'll talk on him we'll talk about minute, that goal but yeah. man I, I thought this was going to be one of those games where <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be one of those games where we need to go in there get in and get out and brother as soon as we went got we one nil down you got in <laughs> got we got in got they said come, you like come here bro and bro, you, know, bro. Yeah, you know that Tom and Jerry when you just hear you know you just hear the noises you know Tom and Jerry you get a beat up and you just hear the chairs flying and that Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, Hinchel with uh, gets the goal first. You're like thinking, oh, what? Well, you know big the worst thing is when you see that goal, yeah, it's like. <laughs> Bro, there's like three man at the back post. <laughs> Even he's wiping yeah. it. <laughs> nah, for real. I have, nah. I have to wipe it, man. Bro, oh, it's okay, three man at the back post. Wipe the storm, wipe man. Open. Tom goes to the little hole. This beat up. So freaking. You're so dumb, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm honest. <laughs> I hear it. They were, you were four nil down at one point, bro. It, it, bro, it was uh, like the two goals just made it look a little bit better on the score, like, bro. We got absolutely caught. You know the house was moving as well. Like this. <laughs> that was me. I was like, no, like, he comes out with a bandage. He's got that bump. Comes out his head. You know the bump comes out his head. You know the bump comes out his head. No, we got we got absolutely cooked. Like individuals, oh. and tactically, the Zerbi, the Zerbi took us to school today, man. And happens, man. That's that's. Listen, he still holds some of the Stellini, even though he's not there anymore. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know what, Stellini. bro? That was a throwback last, last season. Yo, he got absolutely rattled. Yeah, bro. he was rattled still. That was <laughs> you got, you yeah. give it, you and they, it and they lost Brighton. that game, no? Hmm? Did they lose that game? Yeah, they lost that yeah, game. Yeah, they and they lost, lost the as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He spawned the ball. When your manager loses his head from the first minute, bro, you already know the game's lost. And his face looks like face was lost. Yeah. I was waiting for it. I knew it was coming. <laughs> but listen, yeah, uh, it was unfortunate from you guys today. Like, it wasn't at Tottenham as we knew it. Obviously, still, you guys still try to play your style of football, mm. but I think it just shows that we're bleeding till January. Even when 100%. you saw the lineups before the game, you was like, bro, the, 
that m- team basically the worst it could play it did. The fullbacks looked ineffective today. Poro, I think, gave the ball away mm. far too many times. He's, he's owed one of those, though. But then, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, before yeah, the game, then, Romero, you found out what, like a, what, a couple out days injured ago. for four, That's five weeks. That's why you probably now. guys were going for Tadibo badly, isn't it? No, we need we need centre backs in Van general. Van anyway. close to Van coming Van back. Van is apparently close to coming back, and I was there. Him, Benton, Core, Madison, all apparently roughly coming back around the same. So that's going to be massive for us. Because now this way. period is like, it slows down a lot now because there's the FA Cup game and then there's like, like the next week. I think there's there's a week in January where there's no Premier League games yeah, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One or two weeks. Anyway. So I'm just looking at that. It's like, listen guys. Right it's a chance form. to reset, bro. Like yeah. January for us is the biggest reset period where it's we've got ourselves Cup. in this top four period now. Sun's going Asia Cup as well mm-hmm. as a few AFCON. Mate Sa and, and Basuma. Basuma, 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 Basuma going. forget that guy because he's yeah. four match ban anyway, so. Yeah, nah, so but Basuma's been taken off since yeah. pre-Christmas, bro. He yeah. said, yo, you man, safe, bro. Masalam. But, yeah. Like, but so I'm having a lit Christmas. Richarlison. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100%. He said, yo. F you, dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. Richarlison back to his normal <laughs> self today. I think, how many times did he get caught offside? I mean, I think yeah. three or four times he scored two mm. offside goals. Son, looking back to him. <laughs> last season self on the wing. So I think we saw, the, we saw the Trippier well. game and... I think Ange was hoping that James Milner was going to play right back and maybe have a chance mm-hmm. there. Bro, Milner threw it back today. He was rattling posts, running the game from midfield. What did you say? What was your tweet again? Said no bright, six Brighton players weren't born since. Uh, yeah, there, yeah, there was a stat where I think they said uh, in commentary, six, six, of six in this squad. players in the Brighton team hadn't been born when James Milner had made, made his debut. debut. And and that is, about, man. Bro, that is, that's I respect a, that, man. That's crazy. Mm, that's crazy. But, Jao Pedro got his little two penalties acting like he did something crazy today, but fair play to him. Uh, I didn't like all that shit talking and I saw him gurning. Uh, although it was La Celso who he was gurning with. I was like, bro, lie, man. You ain't that guy I yet. I asked a question, you yeah. ain't that guy yet. <coughs> Obviously with Ange now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I just wanted to validate. You wanna, know what? I saw, I saw, I saw, I, I saw, I saw this brother tweet tweeting yeah. Ange yeah. watch. Yeah, I saw and I was like, let me see what he's got to cook. You have to give him credit as well. Like He's come to this team. He's put down his foot. He's put down his print. Like what print? Pause. Yeah, he put his print on the team, and um, <laughs> and obviously he got them playing a certain way, and he's he stuck to that way. Yeah, but yeah. you think that's also de- like the same way we criticize Ten Hag for throwing away his identity or whatever it is. Do you feel like uh, Anne should be criticized for just being like it's my way or the highway? Should I'll know? answer that if you want. No, because no, because, no, because I feel let me answer, please. Just you answer, shut man. Up. You, you shut answer, up. please, man. You know I know some shit about you. I don't <laughs> care about this time. You can reveal it. You can reveal it this go time. On. I go, on, go on. Give, I, give I, us a little tidbit. Give us a little tidbit. No, I feel, give us a little side. Uh, no, 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 no,
normal managers would say, okay, I can't play that. But the fact that he's still been able to, and still been able to actually get, what was it, three wins in a row, two wins in a row? Back to back wins. Yeah. So you've got to say he's actually been able to pull something out. And even in those games that we lost. Pull something out? My brother, you well, we won got like two three wins. games in like, no, no, how many even, games? Even, even That's your third victory in like. Is he listening? Like, this is this is the start of the second Oh, about. sorry, I go on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Listen to what's being uh, said. Sorry, go on, go on. Just sorry, Mass. Yeah? There's still his chin towards you. Don't even do that again. You do that again, yeah? He's going to do it. I have an annoyance. I've got something now, you know. I've got something now. Listen, listen, listen. Grab his shoulder. <laughs> but I think within those games, even yeah. that we lost, there should have been games where I felt like we could have won that, if that makes Thanks. sense. So I think sticking to your principles in those moments mm. shows, oh, it could have worked. It just didn't work that mm. day because we don't have the quality or we don't have the players. Personal, yeah. Yeah. So for me, I, I mm. think till proven wrong, I think you But all, your questions well. regarding Eric and Hag, right? Why? No, 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 why are they not getting now, onto Ange now, the way they would get onto Eric Ten Hag? Because that's, what, that's your first point. When you have Europe involved, mm-hmm. when you're having to use more of the squad, yeah. then we'll see really and truly if he's sticking to his gun. Why are you smiling? Why no, 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 no
main starters and we've got a pretty thin squad. So the fact that he's still able yeah. to today I saw us playing out the back with Davis and Emerson and now in moments you're like, What the please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's still able to just about make them pull enough and yeah. eventually the yeah, quality yeah, yeah. shows itself and today we just got And what's exciting for you guys to what's us, exciting right? for you guys as well is you know what it looks like when everyone's playing and how exciting like so what was it? Yeah. Ten games he was unbeaten for like the first ten in eight. Mm-hmm. So they they've got something to look forward to. No, I'm not. Which I'm which not, which, which is exciting. No, no, I, I get what you're yeah. saying. My only have a plan B. Have a, have a plan B and all of that because sometimes I feel like the, the only criticism I have to that to that like approach is that that's gonna some game there will be games that will cost you points. You get undone. You fully, get undone fully. fully. And and games and like, like Brighton, game, I think Wolves game as well. Yeah, I felt like when because you guys went ahead, right? Yeah, yeah. They scored two last two in the night. Wolves, Wolves got nasty. Yeah, two in the night plus night, minutes. Yeah. 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 Like, Sarabia came on. Sarabia came on and just said, "Jelly, Jelly, you know why? You know, you know that game, yeah." You like, gang signs. You guys try to like the thing about line football is he tries to play that from minute one to minute ninety six, regardless of whatever the school line is. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's a, that's an example of that game where I feel like once they started getting into injury time, you don't need to take too many risks. But no, it's not risk; it's control the game. Yeah, that's that's His when I'm the game. It's like I just come, we come nah, in. Ah, but it's yeah. not. It's it's almost like yeah, I guess you could say that. But controlling is just keeping possession of the ball. Yeah, and I'm sorry, sometimes. Hey, if you've got Kulu's son and Richarlison on the break, you're going to take the opportunities. Yeah. You know what I mean? And rather go three one than go two two. Like, 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 I'm, I'm yeah. not mad at it. I get what you're saying. Mm. Don't maybe go gung ho the full ninety minutes, but I don't mm. think we do. I think there's moments in games where we have gone like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We try and control yeah, yeah. games. Is how I see it just football. Yeah. Why today we ain't why control why shit. Why did he smile at each other? No, no, no. Because I, I was, I was waiting for, he was making a point, so I was just waiting for him to make. No, I, I, I don't know. I what do you think there's something going on? Yeah. Yeah. They don't feel like there's something going on. Whenever there's something going on. Hey man, yeah, you crazy. man, not you man. But listen, shout out to shout out to Brighton. Uh, they are currently eighth on the table. They've you know they've had some, a lot of injuries. They needed this win as well. They needed this win. Nah, they needed something like this. A, a, a convincing one. But once again, like you said, when you saw four one, you're like these idiots score, but they always concede in every single. Yeah, they haven't kept a clean sheet once this season, you know. Nah, Whether man. it's Europa or. Bro, they had. Well, I'll tell you one thing though, Estupiana's coming back in my fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna right. tell you right that now. goal as well. I'm gonna t- tell yeah. you that yeah. right no, no, no. now, bro. Can we give a round of applause? He's coming back straight into my fantasy no, no, team, bro. Because no, no. it wasn't just. Merce was clapping. It wasn't as well. just the. the and he's, he's not even using his hands as well. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Of course. <laughs> crazy. But nah, it wasn't just the standard of how crazy the goal was. I didn't expect the shot. And then, what? Top bins. But the brother runs to the camera and does the Didier job. Yeah. I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> I said, you know what? He deserves the best. Yeah. 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 Like off the hammer. But let's be real, though. When you score a goal like that, you can do that. Bro, yeah. you, you got the light. Do whatever. Want, you bro, I've been out. I've been out for two, three months. I come back and that's my but first. That's, that's my tango. Yeah, man. I get to do anything. At that and he's a left back as well, man. He's not letting me attack like that. I'm, I'm sure the. Do you remember Maino Figueroa? Yes. Oh, Wigan legend. Yes. Slammer. It reminded me of that kind yeah, of, yeah. Type of hey, You know what? That's a good example. Okay. Yeah. That's a good comparison. <laughs> Which one? So they're mainly coming from the same club. <laughs> they're coming from the... I've been there for the same village. No, I've, been there, I've been there for the same village, Jack. Like. I've been there for the same it's, village. Figure, Him right, and right, Palacios. Figure, 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 I don't know if he's from Palacios and them man there. Like, you know that like, Wigan team? Remember that Wigan team? Oh my days. Yeah, that's why yeah. we signed Valencia as well. What a goal, man. Yeah, that's the village boys, bro. Fair play to them. Fair play to them. I'm in Zaki era. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh, and that was a good time. That was a good time. Good time man. That was some Maloney was a baller back in the stadium. Oh, that oh, Wigan team had ballers, you know. <laughs> what was that? Was uh, Hugo Rodriguez. Yeah. 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 Was Charles and Zogby there? Yeah, hmm? yeah, he was. And then yeah. your boy Valencia as well. Yeah. Was it Paul, Paul Shana? Yeah. Yes, the center back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oshin, you always have like blonde hair. And yeah, Hamzi. Who is the grey hair brother? The grey hair, grey hair brother. JJB Stadium. Kavanaugh. The Kavanaugh. What position? Centre mid. He used to look like he was 40. But he Sean Derry. No, Sean nah, Derry. Not Sean Derry. That's QPR. Yeah. yeah. Nah, nah. I think it was, I think it was Kavanaugh. I think I ate the shot. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Sean Derry. Yeah, that that game. was fun. That would be like a pop player. He looked like a pop, pop footballer. Yeah. 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 Charlie Winn Adams. Yeah. 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 Dean Winn <laughs> yeah. 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 But let's go into the next game. Uh, Goodison Park. Uh, Everton went 1 0 up. And we're all thinking once again, City's going to lose a game and Arsenal going to win the title, as all Arsenal fans say on Lee Band's Twitter timeline. But unfortunately, City did I come back. I hate when this guy tries to do a slide. <laughs> into I'm not trying to be Just do your job and, job and read the thing. Bro. I am doing my job. That's the whole point. Yeah, read the thing. Yeah, but that's not what it says in the script. It does say. It says right here. Yeah, I have got my exact lines right here. Okay? You just be the guest. But listen, <laughs> City came back. 
And they won 3 1. Pep Guardiola has won more games against Sean Dyche than any other manager in his career. And Bernardo Silva has now provided as many Premier League assists as Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm. Pretty good. Pretty good Fair play to him. Fair play to him. Mm. Well done. So so Phil uh, Foden that game. Let's talk about him. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. T- number in, put him in the number 10 position. That's what people have been crying out for. Mm-hmm. And you see him cook. You yeah, see him cook. Bad, that, I, oh. I think you said it as well. I think we, we've been saying like he's City's best player this season. Yeah. Like, easily. He's quietly yeah. been City's best player. Yeah, a lot of people haven't seen player, him. Yeah. But then to say to that, obviously, I, well, let's, okay, before I miss, do Everyone that. calm down. No, no, I'm saying let's, let's give him his praise. Mm-hmm. Because in that game, they, looked, they needed a spark. He, he ran the and, show. And he ran, ran the, the show, show, bro. He literally ran the show. He was doing whatever he wanted on that pitch. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they needed a breakthrough. He got the breakthrough goal, which basically sparked them on to win the game. But his performances in general over the last couple months has been... Because before brilliant. the season... Yeah, brilliant. amazing. Some of the touches, bro. You say underrated. No, I wouldn't listen to brilliant. No, no, no. I, I because think he's I don't getting think he, I don't think he gets the flowers that... Because it's Man City. Do you know what I'm coming from? Yeah, because it's That's Man what I'm City. saying. It's underrated. Like, yeah. He's having a great season so far. But... Because it's, it's not highlighted and heightened. Variety of roles he plays yeah, yeah, yeah. in. It's like with City, you're never gonna be the standout because yeah. you'll have Doku scoring five goals one game. You'll have Rodri scoring his last yeah. minute screamer. You'll have Haaland chipping with his two. And yeah. Foden's almost like, all right, you got your one, you got your assist. Yeah, no, nah, facts, but facts. If you look at it, this Forward season, stats, game in, game yeah. out, week in, week out, this guy contributes, and it's not even like just goal contribution. Watch his influence on a game, bro. The guy yeah. has his fingerprints all over it. <coughs> yeah. You watched the Villa game mm-hmm. uh, a couple of weeks back. Some of the touches, bro, I was like, yeah, this guy's so clear, bro. Mm-hmm. Even like, even towards the end of the Everton game where mm-hmm. I saw two men just try to come in like this. Bro, it's not Skip past, you just gliding. I'm just mm-hmm. like, oh. It's that little bow-legged style he's yeah. got as well. It just makes it look even better, bro. It does, You're just yeah, like, yo, yeah, he's so techie, bro. But we, that game, and I think oh you hit the nail perfectly there. That game needed a spark after you go 1-0 mm-hmm. down as well. You know... What Dyche is gonna try Goodness and do on that type of day? Well. Trenches at the back, yeah, yeah, yeah. get it up to DCL, yeah. and they needed someone like Foden to kind of give them that spark. Grealish, to be fair to him as well, he's been yeah. kind of carrying on the good form of Doku. Obviously, past couple of weeks has got injured, not really there, but he's kind of picked up yeah. the mantle there. Alvarez scoring mm-hmm. as well. He's I feel like needing to take that mantle while Haaland's away as well. So mm-hmm. it's a City City. The other guns have stepped up, if that makes yeah. sense. And you've also not got KDB there. Yeah. You've not got Haaland yeah. there. Yeah. Can the other guys now step, step up? up but yeah. Foden being kind of like the crown jewel in that, I think is is the biggest takeaway yeah. from it because everyone's been saying he's a pure 10. Is he a right winger? Is he a left winger? No. Yeah, stop the off the Alvarez at 10 and Foden on the right. Please put Foden at 10. And, and, and it's been nice, you know, having Alvarez, I think this season, nobody expected him to have that start that yeah. he did and the goal scoring and... You're yeah. almost like, all right, you know what? Let's keep him there and mm. Foden maybe in a little bit of a deeper role <coughs> or on yeah. the right. But in that 10, once you give him the reins and the shackles, Southgate, I hope you're watching. That's all I yeah. can say. Like, because yeah. that for me was a prime example of why England should be handing him the keys and saying, hey. So, <laughs> so Rice, Bellingham, Jude, and Foden. Foden. The thing is, coming off what you're saying as well, because coming into this season, obviously this was his big, like, make or break. almost a like, make it break season because... Obviously, this is this yeah, you're right. No, no, you're right. Here's here's make a make a break. Here's the keys because yeah. it's like he. Ha- this was after KDB's out injured. Yeah, so and, yours. And he had the pressure basically saying that yeah, if you this does this season doesn't go well, then your future is looking a bit. Mm. It's not even that. It's it's this like, competition at the same time. Yeah, yeah. everyone's screaming. Saka, you saw what he did. Mm-hmm. If you don't have that a similar season to what he's doing now and his trajectories flying, yeah. If yours is still a bit stale. Everyone's gonna look at him now in a different light. Even yeah. though everyone knows he's such a baller, but this is the thing though. Like with he, the, can, with the he, can, he can get fifteen and fifteen in his sleep. Yeah, Holder, yeah. Like if he wants to, and that, and that's being a squad. I don't, I don't bro, he did so. it. He did it last year. Was, I don't was it the so. year before? Like he can. He yeah. can, I think obviously Holder in that city that team. In his, uh, yeah. yeah, but and and that's the thing yeah. in that city team while yeah. being like a a one week I'll play on the right. I think <clears> this season, if you give him, and especially in the latter part as well, I think he's he's really gonna turn up because I think was it few years ago in the Champions League when they lost the final, mm-hmm. his run to that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the knockout stage. Second half. Oh, the Chelsea lost, one. When they lost yeah. to... Yeah. Second half yeah. of the season. When they lost Are you talking about the final cha- Chelsea no, or no, talking about semi-final no, Real Madrid? Madrid. Madrid. I lost to Real Madrid. Chelsea. The final against Chelsea. Uh, no, but oh, three years ago. But even yeah. the one uh, when they lost up uh, to Real Madrid, that, yes. yeah. that, that one was gone. Remember, Mara scored away from... Was that one where he scored against Dortmund or Mönchengladbach? Dortmund. Outside of the post. Bro, Nuts. Even the first leg against Real Madrid so in the... He's I, as well. I think, I think what he's done first half of the season is almost like give himself the template of I am one of the main bearers yeah. in this team. Now when KDB comes back in, I hope KDB Where does he push? Come, where do they push him? Well, KDB, you got to remember last season, his role changed where he was almost like a second striker. Yeah. You see what Alvarez is doing this year? 
Uh, KDB, KDB was, was that last year. Yeah, Do you remember yeah. the positions KDB was picking yeah. up against you no, lot? No, but that's, yeah, it was yeah, almost yeah. like he was a striker, bro. Like, yeah. but that's Harlan not, was the target but man that's to my flick argument. on. That's my argument because you're not, like you said, you're trying to keep Odin centrally in yeah. that 10, bro. Mm. I you're going to bring in KDB. So, so. Bernardo's uh-huh. starting on the... Who's... So, KDB now. ACL. Mm. Get the legs no more, big man. Mm-hmm. Come, come, come sit a little deeper now. Mm. We know you got the pass. If there's one thing you can't deny about KDB is passing range. 100%. Sit him next to Rodri. Yeah, yeah. Or, that, why not? Or, or maybe a couple couple yards in front. You know, like what Gundogan used to do. Eight in that eight. In, in like that eight, eight, yeah. But he, he played he, he used to do that anyway. But, but, but yeah. KDB is that kind of player where like KDB will always you don't tell me where I'm forward. Playing, like, I'm yeah, playing I get what, I get what you're saying. Yeah. No, but the thing is, yeah. Deservedly so. And now this is not a knock. Now I'm not trying to knock Foden, yeah. Yes. Because you you brought it up with the Saka thing, yeah. I look at Foden because obviously the fact that he's Manchester City's best player and he's there, like you said, their crown jewel of the season. Mm. That's a reflection of where City are at this season, because I'm saying, and here, here, here I'm saying, here hey, I'm saying, I, I and here why I say you, this I because this. I feel like Foden, as good of a technically player he is, to me, and some people might might hate me for saying this, yeah. Don't you dare say he's a luxury player. He's a luxury player. No, Foden. dare. Don't Foden. You dare. Foden is a luxury player. But luxury, don't do that. The luxury players don't for me that. are the ones that only can play one position. And yes. can have no, 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 no. But let's but say Foden can play other oh, positions. Oh, 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 Foden's, like Foden's a special case though. Foden, I wouldn't put him in that class. Foden's what kind of luxury so is he? It's like Foden is an X factor. For, for player, Foden, Foden, yeah. no, Foden is the type of. I no. think Foden is the type of player. He can create something out of nothing. But you have to build your squad around Foden to be an X factor. You can build your squad around. This is my thing. But he can be the. This is why I disagree. This, that's where me and you slightly disagree because I don't oh. think you can build your squad around Phil Foden. I think Phil Foden is a player that he's a he's like a piece, complimentary, he's like a, a like a, 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 a what do you call it? A, a ring. ring, like a ju- like you know, like a jewel in the crown. I think he's an accessory to <laughs> like the way because here what I'm saying when when he, when everyone's fit, yeah, when everyone in that Man City fit is fit and like. Obviously, this season is a bit of a special game. But when you go back to last season, when you had Gundogan, mm-hmm. when you had... Uh, but Foden uh, was dropped. When you had, no, but hey, that's what I'm saying. When you yeah. had KDB, you had Mares, you had all... There was about eight plays you looked to before you even look at Phil Foden. But that was... that was, you know what I'm trying to say to you? That you're looking... You got to be excessive. Was that what I'm saying? Would you not say that was the case? You go from Harlan like, from from nah, to KDB five. to Gundogan to Rodri. You got, there's like so many key players that... You look to in terms of game before, changing. They will nah, look. Nah, Foden will be no, a bit. I'm not sorry. No, 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 are you talking there. more of importance? I'm not having and, that. And important no, and also oh, like importance is different. No, yeah, importance is different. Importance. Not, no, because I feel like in my city, I think any, every that, single, no, 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 almost no, no. every player in my city. No, but I'm saying that comes down to seniority. So I'm not saying game changer. I'm just saying in terms of what you said, importance. Like I feel like you take Foden now, KDB comes to the team. They might be, but that's but that's but that's kind of city team. That's my saying. That's not. No, but listen, listen. I'm sorry. No, but this is my thing. You put KDB. I feel like you put KDB in any any team in 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 the Premier League, and I feel like that team immediately becomes like he becomes that focal point. Yeah, that yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think you could put Phil Foden in every team, and he becomes the focal point. I don't think you put Phil Foden instead of Odegaard in that Arsenal team. I'm asking oh, two no, Arsenal fans. No, no, no. Does your team become better? Yes no, or no? Yeah. No, no, I don't know. That's the second best team. I don't, I don't know. Now, I don't think put, so. If I, if I, okay, I, 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 that's what I'm saying. To that's, this is my point. Question. This is my point. That's, that's exactly my point. That's exactly my point. So he wouldn't. He wouldn't improve that team. I don't think at Liverpool he would improve that team. I think you're waffling. I know. I don't think so. I genuinely don't think it. I don't think so. I just don't. I don't see. That's, that's, um, that's not a knock to him, by the way. I'm not saying that's a knock to him. But literally, this is not a knock. I'm not saying for all the shit. You're, you're, you're contradicting what you've said Why? entirely. Why? Because you said this season he's been given the keys and he's taken the mantle and no. he's doing it consistently and he's City's crown jewel gem. <laughs> and then now you're saying, <laughs> oh, when everybody's back feet, he's going to be dropped. Bro, he's just been given the keys and he's showing why no, he can be no, one no, of those guys. But he's the best team in the league. No, 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 wait. And I know what you're saying. It's because City's standards have dropped a little bit. Guess what? The season is still not done, brother. Yeah. When City figure out whatever they need to figure out and they get back to the machine, is not in that, I'm in telling you, Foden is going to be a key piece that's, of that. That's it's right, not about being the focal point. That's what you're doing. Now you're going to try and tweak it to, oh, he's got to be the focal point. No. You said there's going to be other guys they're looking for seniority. You try and name Mahrez. No. Foden, I'm sorry, they would look to Foden before they look to Mahrez to change a game. Any time I think City look for game changers, I don't know about that. Foden City, is one of the first City's guys. City's best, best team, Foden, best team, Foden makes Foden way is a linchpin creator. I, I, I don't agree what with that. You don't think about so? It? No, you don't no, think luxury. Luxury. Mean? luxury. Uh, if you have KDB and Haaland back, like last season, for example, he doesn't make it to their best team. But now, now you got different. Now you got different pieces around you. 
But that's because the, last season God no one's out of the point. team. That's Mara's point, is that, out of the team. That's why I'm saying this season he makes it. That's why I'm saying it's a reflection of where City are at this season because they have it to rely. Like you get the point I'm trying yeah. to come from now. Like I'm saying the reason where they are at, at this point in time is because they've had to now, and I'm not saying it's a knock to Phil Foden. I'm just saying because they've lost pieces. Yes, Phil Foden is playing well, but he doesn't make up. What they've lost in terms of what they've lost in KDB, and I know that's a. That's can a I ask you a question? In that's terms an of unfair. It, 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 can it, I, of course, it's unfair. That, that's that's, a that's gap. An unfair. But what I'm saying is, that's why I'm saying in terms of blocks. We're gonna mm-hmm. say sorry. I was gonna in. ask you this: with KDB coming back, you said obviously your argument is X factor. His argument is luxury. Yeah. When KDB comes back, he will play, but will he play to the keys he's given? Will he play that 10 role when KDB's back? Nah, he's playing right. That's right. the question. Because you're talk, everyone's talking about KDB. Do you know why though? Foden being the best you know why because though? he's playing the 10. But do you know why? But that's think, not my question. Think, but do you know, do you know, you know, no, but do you know why? You yeah, drop yeah, Alvarez. No, but then yeah. you play you Harlan through. I play Foden on the right wing. You, you, no, you keep Foden where he's been right now. You play Harlan up front. You put KDB, realistically, you put KDB in the 10. Yeah. Whereas Foden this season has been given the keys at 10. But because KDB's the best player in the uh, best player in the Premier League. Really you got to force him to play the right. Alvarez has been in that 10 if, as well. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but right. I'll take him out. Foden 10, hasn't been unanimously the 10. No, no, yeah. Because I've seen something. Alvarez be 10. Yeah. Yeah. And you're right on that. My, my, my argument they is don't that win, they, they don't win the league. They shouldn't give him the keys, to, but he makes his way into that team regardless. Yes. Right. No, he definitely makes the 10. Yeah, he went right wing. This season. Yeah, yeah. No, this season. Well, everyone's fit. I'm like, this season, yeah. Yeah. But that's the point I was trying to make is the reason I'm saying. That is a reflection of where City are. Of where City are at this season. Because Fifth, for me, you will not win a league if your main guy is Phil Foden. If your if your best player or the guy that you're looking to is with, that's not gonna happen right that's now. Gonna, that's no, 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 um, no, no. Nah. no. I, Cut it. That's why we lost. Cut it. Nope. I've had enough. Not, you are not gonna win the league if you're if the guy you're relying on to. Carry I, I, I need them. I need them. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, you need that for real. No, 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 Phil Foden is the focal point of your team. So you're, you're telling me, league. so you're telling me regarding that, so and I kind of hear you. Not, not I know, I kind of hear you in that sense. That. If a team you're has to so game ever. plan and say, our, for our main objective is take this guy out the game. That's never going to be the game it's plan no, at City. I date to that, try and double up on Foden. Like, but you can't. His whole game plan is double up on Foden. We got four different players. Because you can't game plan on too many weapons. A weird scenario. That's what When you watch KDB, you're... Bear teams is I'm trying to take him out of the game. Yeah, I don't care. As soon as you take him out of the game, game. Harlan's like, don't. Yeah. You can't do that with That's why I hear where you're that's coming from. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm literally saying. I'm not saying he's just. Who has not hearing it? Just, I'm uh, not that's hearing fine. That's all. fine. But you, I feel like. The, the proof will be in the pudding. Ah, but he's it. having an unreal season this year. He's, he's having an unreal season, season, bro. Cool. He's having an unreal season. Cool. End of the season, Lee Ban's going to come back to this and cool. he's going to look Laugh at him. He's going to no. lick your face. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I just want the 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 timestamp of him saying Foden is a luxury player. I just That's want it. that. I'm going to batter this guy. Like like the the okay, he's saying that. Um, Listen, I'm gonna love that. You're gonna regret that bar, I promise you. Bring it to me. Bring it. Do you know me? Uh, you know what they call citizens. me? Citizens. What do they call you? you? What do they call you? Do you know what they call me? Sergio X Aguero. All you man. Do you know what they call me? Come talk to me. We got a new enemy. Do you know what they call me? You coming after Foden. Do you know what they call me? Not the Do you know what they call me? Smoke wrong today, Lee man. But you know me. I love. I love this. I like this. I love this. I like this. Huh? All right, so we have some analysis from Waheed. He's a City fan. He said, first half was an absolute circus act with Grealish being the only positive and the usual su- suspects sabotaging and the crowd getting to the players. Everybody bar Walker played a lot better in the second half. We just need an attacking spark. And Philip Walter Foden stepped up and took control. He continues to be our best player of the season. Our defense has been shocking, but a big part of that is Stones and the Diaz partnership hasn't existed. Diaz was ill this game and Stones got injured during the game. Please just keep winning until KDB and Harlan come back. <sighs> what two players to come back, eh? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like that cryogenic chamber. Yeah. Let's go to St. James's Park. That's our next game. We have a Forest 3 1 win against Newcastle. Did anyone predict a Chris Wood hat trick against the old team? Me. I triple capped to them. No, I never. I wish I did. But listen, Chris oh. Wood, that's one of your favorite players, right? Wood masterclass, man. That is yeah, that, that is, is a wood masterclass. That's the definition of real men, right? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say real wood. Yeah. Nah, real wood as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big wood. Big yeah. wood. That is yeah. a big wood. Bro, you know, and his, and his goals weren't like just headers or something. Yeah. They were t- right, he bro, penetrated bro, bro, bro. wood penetrated that back line. Mm, mm, that back? Mm, mm. Yeah, he like that back line. <laughs> I'm gonna mute the no, Polish's yeah. line. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so they, 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 they penet- he penetrated. Nah, Do you see his post match uh, post match interview where they were like, um, "Oh yeah, that se- that second goal he scored, that, wa- that wasn't really Wood esque." You know, it's yeah. like, 
bit disrespectful. It's like, mm. he was violating his game. Talk to me nice. Exactly. Yeah. So I've got that in my bag. What are you yeah. talking about? But Especially that, 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 what's it, the second goal? Yeah, when he, did he did a Messi. He did a Messi yeah. against Bolton. Yeah. Bro, yeah. nuts. And you got to think of it. Signed for Newcastle as like a yeah. short term stopgap. Get bored in Burnley down. And then they said, yo, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forest, well, like, we, we, we need, need something to step that, yeah. in for our knee. Because our knee is normally yeah. the guy there. And yeah. brother, he stepped what in. a comeback. Brother. I remember as well. St. Well, James Park as well. Yeah, St. James yeah. Park, yeah. Coming yeah, off the like, back of Willie Bolly down. down. Yeah. Remember Willie Bolly got a red card. They lost the game to Bournemouth last yeah. minute yeah. to come back to do this. And that was, uh, mm-hmm. you tweet as well, what a Boxing Day fixtures we have in store today. Bro, I can't lie you. got you. onto the Boxing Day And I can't <laughs> hey, lie to you, you know they what? gave us some, some... I hold my hands up. Bro, they, got, they gave us some <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> they gave I us some swear, entertainment. When I saw that line up, I said, yeah. brother, what? On big boxes, on, oh, like, on paper it does look meaty, but it looked meaty. But see, that's probably that's probably what the SS fans when they see me on the lineup, they probably have. Like, <laughs> see, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh my damn God, right, you damn right. Yeah, we're yeah. shocking. Oh, oh my God, God man. <laughs> <laughs> right, but that game, man, Forrest, yeah. what transition play? They were countering. They were getting past uh, Newcastle. Uh, the way Elanga was moving, man, mm-hmm. Elanga and Wood, like Elanga had a good chance as well. Should have squared it to Wood. Squared work. it, man. Oh my days. Yeah, but listen, and then he, he didn't make that same mistake. He said, "No, nah, yeah. listen, I'm gonna square it to this uh, this guy this time." Went the one one second half. Then it just became Elanga straight to Wood to get the second goal. The and way then a pass on the second one as well. Oh, uh, and he was he down, was on, he was down yeah. on the floor. And, and, and he fell to the floor as well, well, you know? I don't think he, he, did, saw, did, I don't think he, he saw. Did you think he meant that? Yeah. Nah, he meant yeah, that. that. I think he meant he that, yeah. But I think he just mm. didn't know what happened after. He, he didn't. I don't think he, he was down on the floor like yeah. waiting for the foul. I didn't, but that way of pass was straight straight into the space. I think that you see with Elanga, yeah, that I always say like confidence is the biggest PED in football. Yeah. It's almost like, yeah. As soon as you, you, you see it and you feel it almost. Yeah. And when he was at United, he had all the physical traits or whatever, but yeah. at Forest, he just looks. It's the uh, pressure though, bro. It's, it's like, I agree it's as well. The pressure. It's the pressure. Sometimes it's yeah. uh, at United, there's that expectation. You've got to perform at a seven out of 10 minimum. Even yeah. if he drops, I don't know, two, four out of tens at Forest. Oh, yeah. it's fine. We're not competing yeah. to win every single That's game. That's why you week. can go like, as, for so a club like Forest, you can go 10 games without scoring North on a blink. But but the thing is, is I actually yeah, think I mean, is most yeah. weeks he's been putting down yeah, no, he's minimum been seven out of ten. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying in general, like, like, when he is yeah. good, he's really yeah. good. Like he's dragging the team up mm-hmm. the pitch. And Morgan gives white as well. I thought he oh, had a started season unreal. quietly. Yeah, as well. now but now he's but that got was that the type of game again. where you're like, okay, yeah. this is. This hey, listen, is. Nuno's got them playing now, man. Morgan gives white what? And he's still got PTSD. No, but that was his first. his first or second game? Second Second game. The first game he lost three two, but then the Willy Bolly red card. Last game, so set him up kind of. But you never knew what was listen, gonna happen in that game. I, I, think, I, calls him MTW. I, I was saying on the last episode, I was here they should stick oh, yeah. with Stevie Coops because he's kind of built them up to this point. Mm. But I think if you're gonna replace him, a manager like Nuno is a safe bet. Mm-hmm. You've seen it's a similar situation to like what it was at Wolves, a club yeah. with money. You've got good kind of standard of players. All he needs to kind of make them is resilient, hard to break down, and if he can get them scoring goals and with someone like a Chris Wood. Oh, you're set, man. But I think mm. Gibbs White and Elanga, that's what a lot of their kind of creativity yeah. comes from. Yeah. But yeah. on the we flip side, obviously, game. let's speak a little bit about Eddie Howe. <coughs> is, right. that, is that uncomfortable? You start, are you guys we won't speak about Eddie Howe. Yeah, you take I, the I, I, no, I'll Start really, player. No, I, 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 if there's I, ever been a time where the floor is yours, no, he's, he's, the floor is no, yours, he's, my he's, friend. He's, he's on the floor now. I've kicked him a couple times. Yeah. I'm waiting, but I'm going to let you guys Wait a long time for him to get on the floor. Because remember last week, they gave me the floor on Luton. So I already gave him that little, but today, mm-hmm. bro, he's at yeah, home. Because they've been saying away from, him, bro, away from, long, away from. Bro, and I was like, all right, at least it's home is a man. fortress. But you can't blame injuries. Hey, can't keep blaming I'm them. Sorry, man. Yeah. Bro, when you look, that's at why now, I want to. I want to see you guys' now, perspective because you, now, you guys raved about Eddie Howe, and I res- listen, d- deservedly so as well. Like it's give, not like he didn't deserve you it. Give credit where it's due. And you give criticism where it's due. Yeah. That's what I'm a believer of. And mm. I'm sorry, what we've been seeing this season, even Newcastle fans will say, like their away form has not been good. And yeah. performance-wise, on top of the results. And then the Champions League, okay, it was lovely getting that PSG result. But then when you start losing the home games to Dortmund, when you the, put in the types of performances they did in the past couple of yeah. games as well, now you lose a home game to Nottingham Forest. For who's after it, who's following a, who's a club in transition? Luton, Result. Yeah. Yeah. It was a club in transition. So for me, it's like it almost sends a little bit of alarm bells ringing where it's like, okay, I think similar like I was saying with Spurs, Newcastle need to look at this January as like a big warning sign. Have they got F- FFP problems still on? I now? don't know if don't they know. do, but you need to sacrifice it because guess what? The big money signing that you made in the summer, he's he's suspended for a long time. Mm-hmm. The big money signing you made the summer before, Isaac, 
you can't rely on him to play five games at the moment. Mm-hmm. So even, for me, even like Harvey Barnes. all the takeover that they had, what's the big money splurge that we're looking at that Newcastle have Just invested? Just Tonali, really. Tonali. Bruno G has probably been the Bruno only G. one. Mm. Outside of that, they're still relying on Willock. They're still relying Gordon on as well. like Gordon. Yeah, okay. Gordon cool. was like four. For me, I just think that like this January five. they have to go and get two or three key pieces that improve Spot the plus. first team. Yeah, mm-hmm. and some I felt like they got Lewis Hall, Livermore, depth, Barnes, depth. Where's the improvements to the first team? And I think now you're seeing that kind of catch up to them. Mm-hmm. You're seeing the squad get stretched with the injuries. You're seeing the squad get it stretched reminds with Europe. United, man. And, Honestly, and mm-hmm. it just it's reminds me of very United, similar, bro, literally. And Eddie Howe doesn't want to fall into the trap of becoming the bridge manager. Where mm. people have been saying, I've said like this. I've, said I've been saying it, bro. I don't I've, know if he's a ceiling. I don't no, know no, if no, he's no, a ceiling. And, and, and what I said was, he's coming. He's done a brilliant job. You can make this seat yours. And I think mm. Newcastle fans were happy to ride a storm, make this club yours, type of thing. Now it's it's storm season. Now, yeah. How are you going to react? This is going to be the key thing. If Newcastle completely fall by the wayside in the second half of the season. Don't recruit in January. There is going to be bright lights on. How I think they will recruit. I think they'll be. They have very to. Silly, like if they didn't recruit. You can't. You, I, s- I. I don't think um, recruiting in January is never the easiest. Yeah. But I think it can be a key point where you add spark plugs. And I think Newcastle yeah. are a team crying for it at the minute. Yeah. Whether that's in defence, whether that's in attack, in midfield. Then they sign they, Isaac they, in January. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Seventy-five million. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seventy-five million. But the million, thing yeah. is. Um, Going off to what you're saying I, and what you, you mentioned as well, it is very similar to Maynard in the sense of obviously he's had obviously the lock of injuries, of course, but also it's their it's their first season where they've had Champions League football. They're obviously managing European football with domestic football. They've had that on Over top of the years. Yeah, like you said, the team's been stretched. I don't think I think it would be crazy to try to sort of pull the trigger on Eddie Howe. No, 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 not yeah, no, I'm saying, but I'm saying there are, for me, there are, the, there are the, people the calling for that. Though. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Faisal's, it's Faisal's, not pull trigger time. Faisal's, Faisal's call, pulling it. There's people uh, saying relax. uncomfortable conversation. I'm like, you need Rory to relax. said it on the pod like three weeks ago. What it is, Rory said it The storm has now just come. And as I said, when managers go through this, you just got to see how they react. That's it. I always say that you have to see how they deal with it. It's been an upward trajectory this entire time at Newcastle. He now has his blip period, if you like. Yeah. See how he reacts. See, see, see how, how he deals with it team. as well. How he see, addresses see the issues. See how he addresses the issues. That's Absolutely. It, yeah. You give yeah. a manager a grace period. Yeah. You give him credit in the bank. Mm-hmm. He's earned more than enough credit in the bank, in my opinion. So yeah. the, the second half of this season, how Newcastle ended it, I was speaking to one Newcastle fan on DR Sports and he was saying like, oh, even if we don't get Europe this year, I'm happy to kind of stick with him. Now, I want to know if every Newcastle fan is of that it, same but mindset. It's, it's not the fans. It's the ownership. The ownership on... They're, they're, they've invested a lot of money into. They've had project. a taste. They want a whole load. And of course, don't get mm. twisted. The, the fans' expectations grows as well. Yeah, once 100%. you start hearing Champions League anthems, it's like <laughs> we want to be here every yeah, year, yeah, big yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, 100%, you know what I'm yeah. Once you start making a caliber of certain signings, they want to see that all the time now. I so, think they're more so understanding. Though. I think the Newcastle fans grows, are more yeah. understanding of the situation at hand. Obviously, remember that little situation with Trippy you had with the fans. Like yeah. it's kind of like. He's got in, uh, so it's not like looking good for him though. He's had. He's had. He came out. He came out himself. You know, he spoke yeah. about it and he said, "Yo, I'm gonna hold my hands up. Yeah, I've I'll been crap. That. Yeah, and I know I've been crap. Yeah, I know my level. All that stuff. The expectation. Prior to that, bro, I thought he was one of the best defenders in the season. He was the biggest chance creator. Yeah, literally. And bro, he had like four. He's virtually four assists in a single game. When your biggest chance creator is out of form, where does Newcastle's creativity come from? Yeah, midfield hasn't been. Of course, they no. put a lot of pressure on. They Lewis just, Miley. They, they're going through a rough patch. That's a, uh, that's the best way yeah, to put it. Yeah, players yeah. are going through a rough patch. The managers going through a rough patch. Obviously, they it's they it's something that they haven't been accustomed for a long time. So they're getting sort of used to that. He's right in terms of like they just you need to give him that opportunity to see how they address it, see how he can fix it, yeah. and then reassess again in the summer, and then see okay, have can we rely on this guy to take us to the next level? Yes, see, or like, that's what's so like, odd about like, the season. Like Today, for example, I heard talks of they, they might be signing Ramsdale potentially from Arsenal. That's a good like, signing. See that right there? That's moving yeah. correctly. And Calvin and Phillips on loan as well. Moving I correctly. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Just plug in those kind of small spark plug signings that you know, okay, Calvin Phillips, we need something in midfield, extra bodies. You mm. have a point to right. prove. Mm-hmm. Come in second half of the season and give us something. Ramsdale, they're, t- they're chucking you out there saying you're, you're useless. Come and prove something yeah. to them. So like, those are the kind of signings. Come over there, go over there. <laughs> Go to to be honest, <laughs> no joke with that one. Now. I like that one. Emerson Real, though. 
Yeah. Bro, you know what they do need to prove us over there. Go over there. Who we got? Who we got? Too much. They need a right winger. I feel like I am still shocked that Anthony. No, they need a right winger. They can do. Yeah, you're right. Amaron, you can go battle out with Amaron. Zinchenko, they need. Oh, they do need left back. That bird can't be playing every week. Four playing centre left back. I look at their lineup and like obviously they're struggling with numbers, especially in that midfield. Yeah. I st- with the, the with the number of defenders they have, I struggle why they just don't go back five, especially when they're leaking so much goals. Mm. You could have Dan Burn easily play Brafka's left centre back. Not confident yeah. as you can well. have Botman in the middle. You can have um Dan Shaw Burn. play Shaw play at the right centre yeah, back. Yeah. And then you can have Livermento and Luis Hall be your, your flying full backs, wing backs going up and down the line. The, it's it's, actually, not, a it's yeah. not a bad shot. It's and then and then you still got Gomerish and long stuff in the middle, and then you can still have your three man up top. Yeah. So I don't know why you just don't adjust it just to have a back five. Because what you're doing right now is just you're literally leaking. Goal is you're forcing a man that just came back from injury. Dan Burn, he clearly looks off it playing like full back when Livermore has been your best defender of recent weeks. Mm-hmm. I just find that mind boggling. I don't understand how you can just be like, you know what, I haven't got enough numbers in midfield. I'm trying to force you to lose Smiley. Fair enough, very well. He's been playing well, but there's at times where he's just not because he's not good enough, it's just that some games it's just the, the, the pace of the game. The I feel like sometimes he's inexperienced, like inexperienced. Yeah, he just yeah, looks yeah, a little yeah, like a yeah, lost puppy at times. Yeah, yeah. And see, I feel like they take advantage see how of they that. They speak about Miley, but they won't speak like that about Kobe. Yeah, mm. no, don't get twisted. No, 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 don't get twisted. I, I, I've said, I, I was the first one to say there's gonna be a. I, I said it to us. I said after that debut against Everton, I said to I said like yeah. yo, there's gonna come a time. Don't worry, in the game this season, Kobe, where, where Kobe, he looks wrong. He looks yeah, yeah. you're gonna see yeah, it, yeah, and he's gonna yeah. make a mistake. What happened? You saw Yeah, you saw the West Ham game. So I'm like that. That just the but that more comes with that's the age showing. That's just the age. That's the inexperience. That's age maturity. That's gonna come with time. So same with kind of Lewis Miley. I feel like the. Force him to play every single game at that age with that kind of pressure. I feel like you need to ease it up. Maybe just revert your system. Go to a back five. You can't, that, in the you can't do that, man. Middle, huh? You can't do that. Why? You reckon when you're already got an identity team. pattern player, yeah, that's yeah. What it is. you're never going to play a back Certain five. Certain managers are just like keep it to yeah. it. Yeah, because like, yeah. yeah. you surrendered your your, your philosophy just because of a couple of injuries. Right, that's my thing. I'm, I'm so people would rather die on the hill. Essentially, what you were asking of Ange as well. Yeah, it's adaptability. Sometimes you just have to look at the situation, the circumstances, and be like, you know what, coming into this game. I realise I don't have the personnel to play how I want to play, but you know what? I feel like maybe I still can get a result if I decide to play this way. And there's nothing wrong with that. It works against big clubs. That doesn't mean you're throwing away your identity. Big teams are there. You can't go Wolves away and go, you know what? I want to play a back five. It's the smaller teams that are more willing to adapt. The big teams will really look to change their philosophy. Smaller teams will be more happy to do I think Fergie, that's why I always regard Fergie as one of the greatest managers of all time because he was the master of adapting to circumstances and the situation or the opponent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many times do you see Fergie, Fergie go from 4-4-2 to 4-4-3 four, four to 4-5-1? How many times do you see him no, do no, that? No, no, I, I, I didn't, how many but times? But I didn't uh, hear the word five. I didn't uh, hear the word five. Because at them times there, five was... It wasn't even a thing back then. I, I, I don't even remember anyone ever playing a five back then. The decision to the back five is too much of a contrast change. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You can do four-two. I think there are kind of... Doing the two in the man in the middle, three man in the middle. He used to do that, bro. He used to adapt depending. I think that's what it needs to be fair. I rate about Arsenal in terms of that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Rob holding time. Yeah, well, I don't know. He would read games within certain exactly. situations and be like, you know what? Yeah, yeah. That, that, and, and you that, know what? Yeah. For me, that and, is. And a, I, I always, yeah. that's part of the reason why I've said yeah. I think Arsenal will go but, far but, in the Champions League this year the, because you have a tactically adaptable manager. But what another really reason? Adapt. He didn't trust his back line, so he said, ah, no, we can't keep a four. Let's that, bring that, it in. That was two seasons ago. But listen, but that's, what, but that's what he's saying now is yeah. essentially if you know this back line has got injuries and it's conceding a lot of goals at the moment and you can't trust it, switch to the back five. Question Not is, early though, in the it's game. still the same personnel that you've been playing with the four. Yeah. Shaw, Botman, Trippier. But the role slightly, you start to get like, so like, for example, Burn or he's he's a left, like him, he showed that at left, right, he could play the left centre back role. He was doing that. That's what, one of the reasons why they signed him. He yeah. was playing left centre back. So it's like, it's not like they can't do these roles. It's just, I get it. You have a way you want to play and you haven't tried that way. So maybe you're not, you're a bit cautious of going, reverting or changing it to that. But I feel like sometimes in football, you have to take risks. That's football true. is it's, it's all about taking risks. You're yeah. not guaranteed that your tactics, your, your game plan is going to work. It's all about the risk. And I feel like nowadays managers, because of the pressure of the job and because of the pressure of results, they just feel like if I change and I lose, I'm going to look bad. So they're just scared to even take that risk. Yeah. That's why you're saying, we're right with the Arteta thing. He, there was last season, I feel like he was doing that. This season, he's kind of refrained from that. And... 
Now you're seeing it basically, essentially. Yeah. So I don't know, man. This is the first yeah. season, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But yeah. I'm just a guy on uh, in front of a mic, and <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean. Man, what, what do I? What do I know? You know? They didn't stop selling these podcasts, <laughs> next man. Bro, they didn't start charging a million dollars for the podcast. <laughs> stop giving black people a platform. <laughs> stop giving them. I hate that one. You know. You know they can buy the same mics. You know they can buy it. Stop giving it like like it's some sort of some like it was given to us by God or something. Like I'm brought down to us. I came down like this. You have been given a podcast, like you have been selected as a royal podcast. I've been chosen. SDS podcast is yours. That's how they move, man. That's how they move, man. My brother, you can buy the same bike. Buy the same bike as well, you know. Let's go to analysis from Forrest Gump. He said, "Huge win for Nuno's new team." What a performance from Chris Wood. He said, "Right at the start of the second half, and a Langer's pinpoint pass to find Wood. Just wow, what a signing he's been for us. Eight GA for us in the league now, and you knew there was a player there when he came from United, but his development is actually crazy." Uh, what finished two from Wood didn't know he had it in him to bonus and then Murillo caps it all off of a line breaking pass to Wood who slots it away from a way win at St. James Park something no Forest fan expected he said Murillo finally should start getting his product so astute at the back but his ball playing ability too even shown by a late run into the final third a Brazilian excellence just hu- huge heaps of braids for any- everyone Nuno who has made Chris Wood's play style reminiscent of a young R9 and special shout out to MGW uh, yeah. Absolute so um, Forest fans that call him that. Ab- that. Absolute beast of a player didn't stop running the entire game, pulling all the strings. Also, lads, it's uh, Nottingham Forest, not knots. So, so what you want to Gibby or MGW? What have you decided? Oh, MGW. I'm usually uh, much easier. It's like ESR, isn't it? And, and right, you did, do that. Did anybody actually call them knots Forest? I think we might. We, we might. I call them Nottingham Forest. It, yeah. Uh, he said. He said it's them. Nottingham Forest, not Notts. Uh, Notts is County. Notts County. Yeah, Notts County. You say Notts Forest. I said Notts Forest. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, that's, that's, a, that's a two-time Champions League winner, bro. I, I was in the lab, man. Name, man. I was in the lab. You don't know about them credentials. Was that Brian Clough? <laughs> you don't know about them credentials, bro. <laughs> hey, I know about European ones, though. Oh, you got the first one. Yeah! We got a UEFA for cost, me! Yeah. Got you don't know about them things, eh? You don't know how you Cup winners, cup. Oh, they have cup winners, Men. What year is this? Oh, was he alive? What year, what year did you win the Winter Cup? 1961. Oh my goodness. And 1978. He's parading through two of them. I was there for both. <laughs> <laughs> Before you said it, I knew it was coming. <laughs> I got a hell of it. We got him. I think I had a suicide bomb. Like, I can't see it. He didn't even let him man, give him, he didn't even give him an opportunity to say it. Uh, well, like, he didn't let him glint. He didn't even give him an opportunity to say it. I heard him say, I was there for both. Was he really doing 1961? <laughs> oh shit! Let's move on to the city next year. Martin Luther King. Who has having a dream? No more, no more, no more, no more. It's Roll Jack. I don't go back no more. This is a great. This is a great way to end 2023. I'm telling you, I'm having fun today. This is a good one. This is a good one. The fans deserve this one. It's the last one of 2023. Let's go to Turf Moor, Liverpool. Uh, two nil win against Burnley. Um, yeah, like I said, it kind of so seemed funny, to yeah. kind of seem simple enough for Liverpool. Yeah, two I mean Darwin win. Nunes getting. Us, uh, do you know what? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to speak back. to someone on the pod. I forgot his name, but he uh, he must have seen the last first ten minutes. He seen Nunes score. I wonder what he thought about that. Uh, oh, here he is, Lee Van LDL. How how did he do? I sentenced him this week as well. By the way, yeah, so, I know, yeah. I know. Shit, guy finally scored. Yeah, that's what it is. Hey. Shit, guy finally scored, man. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. Did the Liverpool fans been unleashed again, guys? <laughs> oh, like, yeah. like, like, like the zoo animal he is. Buy He's your been stocks now. Buy your stocks oh. now. Oh. If you don't like us, if you don't <laughs> like us, <laughs> the silencia. <Yeah. laughs> Bro, come on, man. How many times are we gonna hear the same bars, the same, the same <laughs> shit? But they can buy say your stocks. They can s- He's been unleashed. It's his time has finally come. Like. Bro, he's gonna go on another five match here, go I'm drop, here and then we're gonna have right the same now. conversations again. I already know how the script goes, man. We've seen the script how many times already? Facts. Come on, man. I'm I tired of this Listen, movie. Not for, I, I think just a nice old. <laughs> I don't want a damn sequel, man. Alive, I don't want a sequel, man. All the main characters died. Alive, I'm tired of this movie. Alive, I don't want a damn sequel, man. All the main characters died. Do you know who has been unleashing that yeah. game, though? I think Gakpo. Oh, uh, Cody, he had a good game. Agent Cody yeah, Gakpo. Cody man. Gakpo playing on the left wing, which mm, what I think is almost like the first time. Agent? Agent. What? Is that, is that what they call him? 
Oh uh, yeah, because there's a film called Agent Cody Banks. That's like a five year old. He gets distracted. So Sorry for that. Like, how many times have I said this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> continue now. No, that's 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 I only wanted to know. I've never heard Agent Cody Banks. No, 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 quick no, side no. point. You interrupted my wonderful Cody yeah, Gakpo yeah. segment. It's soliloquy. You interrupted your, soliloquy. Oh, I want to hear that. Yeah, we don't give a damn about soliloquy, like man. Soliloquy hype, man. Um, what do you want me to talk about? Whatever you was gonna ask. In other terms, Co- Cody Gakpo was aight. He had a good game hey, today. Shut up, man. We don't want to hear what you are saying. Man. That's all you wanted to say. I'm over you, bro. That's all you wanted to say. That's you. That's you. That's you. He's the only one to Shut up, man. We don't want to hear what you are saying. Come on. I got to sit over there, boy. I got to sit over there. My cat is right, man. I got to sit over there, boy. Little locked in you, man. Go lock him up over there, man. Hey, listen. Gakpo, finally. Finally, <laughs> Klopp has learned to play him in his natural position. Because I feel like there's almost, because he's 6'2", yeah. light skin, he's like, yo, you know what? Let me get this model down the middle of the pitch. See what we do. <laughs> I had 6'2", I was like, okay. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> understand where he was going with this. <laughs> no, but I think the World Cup tricked everyone because yeah. he was playing in that number nine position. I think it was one it, or two games. He, he played, he played as well. in the two strike, in it? Yeah. In front two. And I thought Klopp saw that and thought, do you know what? With his height, with his yeah. physical, maybe we can use him there, but... If you watched him at PSV, left winger, bro. And yeah. he was like a touchline winger. Get down the byline, whip the balls in. And I'm sorry, who benefits the most out of that? Darwin Nunes. Mm-hmm. Is it surprising that you play those two together and all of a sudden you see a bit of tandem? I think yeah. that for me is a solution going forward that they've actually figured out a little bit. Yeah. You want to get more out of Darwin? Get gap Do you think, do you think, do you think uh, that will help them know that Sal- Salah's going to go AFCON? Do you think they need to start building these little mini partnerships? 100%. On the 100%. They don't yeah. know what they... Pep, t- I mean, Pep <laughs> Klopp till now doesn't even know what his best attack is. Yeah. Till now. And <laughs> you know, do you know what the most I can, I can already see it now. I can already see my Twitter timeline. This Man United fan talking about <laughs> Liverpool again. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, you know? I don't know what to, hey, that's the that's the line they use for everything. You know what you know what is that line, yeah, yeah. is is basically layman's terms for you're saying some shit I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying some shit I don't you like. You just threw a lot of words yeah. at me that I don't, yeah. I, I don't no, understand. No, 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 like, so I'm going to take it as disrespect. <laughs> That's me, so do you know, do you know who, who else is important though? Coming back, what is it? 84th minute he got subbed on, 90th minute he scored, six minutes it took him, Jota. Mm. Yeah. Bro, having that brother back is an... That's a goal scorer. Yeah. Yeah. You don't teach that type think, of shit. I think last time they he went... Um, uh, Salah went to AFCON... He was one he of the stepped up. Stepped yeah. up. So you need that. I coming back, yeah. I feel like him coming back, perfect timing. Figuring out that Nunes and Gakpo have a little link up on that side as well. Perfect timing. So and Diaz got like, an assist as well. So yeah. now the attack is uh, obviously the Diaz assist. To people, let's like, not jump the gun just too early. We uh, still need to see. Diaz, Diaz, Diaz has, yeah. a, has some work to do. We are yeah. watching He's him cool, very, man. very, very closely. I'm telling you. Well, I have to be caught. Cool. We are observing him very closely in the courts. Trust me. Second half, he needs to step up. Hey. Your family nice issues, and you know we give him. But I would benefit put that brother in solitary confinement. No, no, I, I think I think for now take him take him out of the limelight and give Gakpo that run on the left wing, Nunes in the middle, Jota on the right, whatever you need to. Salah's, Salah's away, yeah, 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 of course, mm-hmm. because that is. I Jarrell Quanta though, man, we need to give a shout out to him, man. Fair yeah, play, nice. man. Fair play. Is he centre back. He said he said Joe Matt has gone down uh, with an ACL. Right. Let's come. I'll, I'll come and step in. Oh, Obviously, uh, what was it? Kanate with that monster class, was it? Uh, midweek. Yeah. Mm. Um, uh, I, like I was that, surprised bro. to see him drop. Uh, he was he injured? Like, he was injured, yeah. That's the thing about Kanate, though, isn't it? He does this. It's literally he will that. give you two of the greatest games that you think. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. he's just on the bench. Oh, he's just on oh, the bench, so, yeah? Well, oh, to be so. fair, maybe protecting maybe him. Maybe protecting him, yeah, yeah. Two, three games in, Cautious, in a week yeah. or whatever. But it's, I think Kwanzaa, though, when he first game or two, I think he looked a bit shaky. And you thought, yeah, he could be yeah. maybe like a Nat Phillips last year. Reese <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Williams. Come back. <laughs> yeah, but I can't Come lie back. to you. He looks very, very solid yeah. and like for, well-rounded for and, as and well. And the frame, like he's, in terms of frame, like he's a unit for, for at that age as yeah. man. Yeah. 1v1 defending, you're seeing it, winning his duels, like yeah. ability to pass out the back and you're like, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought they needed to sign like a, an extra centre-back, but he mm-hmm. can kind of fill that gap nicely, I think. Yeah. Matip, Konate, Virgil, him. Nice. Yeah. Are you always like yeah. having you know one from the academy floating around? I think the last mm. one they had come through was Trent, if I'm not mistaken. Since then, who've they had breakthrough? I know Ben Doak. Good. They try to tease us a one, for a while. Uh, Harvey Elliott. Um, no, Harvey Elliott uh, was bought they signed full of yeah. Seven, six, Kurt seven, Jones. Uh, Kurt Jones. Yeah. Kurt Jones actually. Kurt yeah. Kurt Jones actually. But, yeah. Hey, yeah. get another one in there, man. Yeah. 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 Stoke. Yeah. Stoke's not too bad. He's been doing well, all right in the in the Europa League still. Yeah. yeah. yeah Can we talk about the other club? Okay. Burnley, man. No, yeah, hold on. Let's, I let's, feel like let's I feel go like back to Liverpool for a second because they're top of the league now. 
or talk about it. Oh, okay, cool. Go talk about them. Yeah. So, <clears throat> what do you guys think? Do you guys who who on the table generally thinks Liverpool can win the league? Oh, they generally can win the league. Yeah, of course. I think they can they generally, can win, generally win, the win the league. No, okay. Let me rewrite that. Yeah, rewrite that one, please. Do you think Liverpool will I'm win the league? I'm surprised you didn't put it on there. I know. I think, I think City will still win the league. I think City, bro. I think Liverpool. If there's a, I've, you're I've, waiting for the right I've question to get I've the right answer. It <laughs> since before the season. They're going to be the team that pushes it. He's going to reformulate so the question you, again. Obviously, you say City, well, so you, you haven't changed your opinion, yeah? I'm 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 still City, yeah. I haven't changed. You haven't changed your opinion who you think is going to win the league. You haven't changed your opinion who you think is going to win the league. I think City. I, I haven't changed my opinion who I think is going to win the league. I said Arsenal. I haven't changed that opinion. So, well, at the moment, I still haven't changed my opinion. But hear him. I said Spurs last year, by the way. So. Yeah, so you, you, know what I'm, you know what I'm on. So, this is. And what was your exact uh, reaction? To <laughs> no, but no, but my name was it. No, but <laughs> the only reason why I asked that question is. <laughs> the only reason why I asked that question is because yeah, there was a clip that resurfaced here yeah, of me, Lias, Frizzy, and Sharky on the table where we all said. Oh, so really you start laughing really at it. That <laughs> Liverpool would compete for the title. <laughs> can I can I apologize by the way? Yeah, because uh, I was doing the funniest moments compilation, right? Yeah, so I had to like go through every single podcast episode that we okay. filmed since January. So obviously, I was going through some uh, episodes, and then I I went on that episode, and I found at the end of the clip, I, I saw him. Uh, you say that about you know Liverpool like challenging for the league next season. Yeah. So you put. So out I was the one that sent it to told Fou. to Fuzzy. I think you should tweet this. Yeah, I know. You, I, I wanna, you, already, uh, you, already, you already said, you already told us. I'm the puppeteer. I know, <laughs> I know. I know, I know. You're, you're, little, you're the little instigator. That's what you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we know what you're on already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who is he's yeah, under yeah, my yeah, control? Yeah, yeah. I know, I know you're under. You control, <laughs> guys. Yeah. But hear, hear what I'm saying. Listen, like last season, I don't think anyone at this table would have thought that Liverpool would be competing the way they are competing. Liverpool but, fans did. And that's before they even made the signings in the okay, summer. Okay, okay. Bear in mind, this is in March. I was going to say after the signings. This is in March. Obviously, when they made a sign, I said in my pre pre um pre like the pre season, uh, pre-season prediction, prediction, I said Liverpool yeah. finish second based yeah. on their signings, but I still didn't think they were winning the league because of the fact that they clearly and even though they're still top of the table, they still clearly have gaps in that midfield. Their attack still isn't fluent. They they, they they're still trying to work out what their best attack is because they lack goals. Before they used to have Mane, Firmino, and and Salah, and you knew the goals were coming from the two to two wide men. You had Firmino doing it, and that was like a mainstay for that team. Mm-hmm. Week in, week out. This week he's having to chop and change. I mean, this season he's having to chop and change because he doesn't know what his best attack is. He's got gaps in midfield. And credit to Liverpool with all these issues, they're still at the top of the table. Voila. That's the thing. And I give them credit for that. Yeah. But now I don't think that's a true reflection of where they really are at at the moment. Now, taking all of that, yeah. what you've said, yeah. they're not firing all cylinders, let's say, in attack. Yeah. Let's say Darwin Nunes finds a shooting yeah. boost. Let's say Luis Diaz gets back We've to been four. hearing this all season. Yeah, but they so can he's, he's figure he's it out. Yeah. But they can figure it out. We yeah. saw him City do this last yeah, year. Yeah, of course. We've seen even even Liverpool. Yeah. Let's be honest. We've seen them get better throughout yeah. seasons. But I'm saying, if all of these things, let's say now in January they go out, we know in yeah. the summer they had that money. Yeah, that money the yeah. They yeah. just decided to go yeah. cheap with Endo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if now they go all in on that six? Fair play to them. Then, then, then. We and now you're looking at Liverpool. Okay, no more gaps in midfield. Soboslai, Mac, you've been doing your thing anyway. Now you the the shackles are off. Our number nine is actually starting to score goals. Yeah. Salah comes back, AFCON with a chip on his shoulder. Yeah. Luis Diaz gets back to form. we still got Jota scoring. Your goal scoring issues That's are all there. You got your midfield balanced. All done within I a month. I hear it. I hear that. That's how quick things can change. Is, is and what I I'm agree. Saying. But I'm saying in this current moment, I'm like... Are you saying that, that possible change happening yeah. is far-fetched for you? No. It, not, not at all. I think it can happen. Yeah. yeah. I think in January, they can easily go in and buy a, a holding midfielder, a top quality holding midfielder. Mm-hmm. They can easily go and buy another attacker that can chip goals. That's not the issue. Mm. What I'm saying is. Fair play to them that they're top of the table, but people like they're trying to spin the block as if we're crazy for not trying to sort of um, put them in that frame of either as title winners or challenging for the title. Where it's actually when you actually look at that team, it's reasonable to be like, I don't think this team can win the league. I don't think this team could compete for the league. If anyone said that during the season or even before the season, I understand it because you look at that team and you see there's clearly issues, even though they're getting the results. And bear in mind, some of the results that they had over the recent weeks. They drew games last minute. They won games last minute, literally coming back yeah. in the injury time. And they've that so was Sheffield. the running. And it's yeah. like they've already Fulham. drawn yeah. they've already drawn six games. Like obviously teams have lost. Like they're Arsenal. not perfect. They're, they're, they're not, nowhere they're not near perfect. the old Liverpool they used to but be. I, but for a team that's going through a transition, I, I feel like and, they're and far I, ahead of I, their curve. I, yeah. You have to applaud them for that. But then the Liverpool fans are, are acting as if we're 
we should have put respect to the name and we should have expected this and this is you know the, do you know what the, it the, is the, the reason why they're top of these is because they're the best team in the league do you know what I'm it is like, it's because, because do you know what I mean slow down it's because they yeah. feel like last year when they fell off a lot of people were quick to disrespect them and almost say oh, damn right baby nah they fell off or I mean, man, this is, but if you look these at are it, title challenges for the last three four years before yeah, that yeah 100% season. and, and they've we still got here, the baby. same <laughs> spine bro if you look at it Alisson Van Dijk um, uh, Salah mm-hmm. Trent they've still yeah. got some of the main core pieces even like Van Dijk was getting disrespected he was, he's yeah. been written off. Yeah. Salah, how, yeah. yeah. how many times has he been yeah. written off? Trent, how many times has he been written off? Type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Allison's maybe been the one this. constant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm still right. But those those <laughs> kind of key components <laughs> still be in there. I feel like they still feel like is a yeah, part yeah. of the old team mm. has had respect put on them. You man should have never written them off. Da, yeah. da, da. So I guess that's why there's that kind of f- like sort of like um, Vim. Uh, Chip, chip, on the chip on the shoulder. Yeah. Like, they have they one hundred percent. That's why they're, they're the, like with Liverpool fans. You any any little criticism, bro. I said the other day, and I did it on purpose. I just knew that they're gonna get round about. And I oh, just did it on you. And I just said, I just quoted to you like a little compilation of Konati against Arsenal. I was like, see, I was like, yeah, Konati had. I think it was back pocket, but all they're gonna talk about is trying to spam balls to the box. <laughs> the way they're biting, yeah, it's like you can't say anything. <laughs> it wasn't even a mad thing, like, but the way they were biting to that tweet, I just such like a yeah, villain. Yeah. You know? yeah. yes. I he loves it, you know. I'm double guessing all his tweets yeah. now. I used to yeah. used to tweet purely. <laughs> I'm watching Last bro, season, I, 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 he was oh. against Arsenal. This season, he's spinning the block on Liverpool. He's like, yeah. come here, man. It, man. And this tr- Trent prop, yeah, needs to stop. Hey, 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 immediately. Like, don't get twisted. Wait, 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 wait. No. Trent Prop from who in particular? There's a brother. Oh, brother no. in, in, in Iraq right now, currently in Iraq. He's been sent back to Baghdad. I- I can hear yeah. his, Permanent. I can hear his Permanent. cheek <laughs> clapping from Iraq. Oh, right right now. Now. <laughs> no, 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 do that, do that, do that, do that, yeah. do that, it's like, yeah, yeah. He's changed, Trent viewed the story and he's moving. He's a groupie, yeah. bro. I, Trent, I, like, oh, like, yeah. this, he's I get, a Can I give a message to Trent? Brother, please do not give this guy any sort of validation, attention. Interaction. B- please, because <laughs> this brother is shameless. Despicable. He's despicable. He's disgusting. Nasty. Yeah. And he's only doing this because he wants a little acknowledgement from you, brother. Don't give it to him. He did. He got do the, not he give got it. The, no, he got, no. He he's got a view. He didn't even get a <laughs> like. He didn't even get a comment. He didn't get a reply. Man got a view and he's running to the, to the hills with it. He's running to the Have some shame. You're a grown ass man. Have some but shame, bro. But, 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 You're a grown ass man. He older than Trent. Oh my oh. god. But, but, uh, guys, guys, remember he said Lotten is my lover. Lotten lot is younger. Bear in mind, yeah. <laughs> Let's, yeah. Listen, yeah, no, no. Like, it's consistent. Uh, stop, stop twerking for that attention. Stop twerking, brother. He circled it as well. And there's a certain yeah, complexion I mean. of plays he likes. It's right, true. Right skin. <laughs> it's true. It's true. He has a type. Mm. The clock say, oh, Trent, you might want to be careful, but he's got a type, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Are you telling me? Are you telling yeah, me? Yeah, them dodgy you there. Yeah. yeah. Just hey, before man. we moved on, I just wanted to make that very clear, brother. Please don't do it. Just for us, <coughs> as a favor for us, brother, do not give this guy any attention oh, whatsoever. Please, please, please. Let's talk about bring him to, what is it? What did he say? Bring him to the Bernabeu. Oh, bring yes. him to the Bernabeu. Please, Abdi. Ha, I won. We need to come together. Subscribe to my YouTube <laughs> friends. Please. Subscribe. <laughs> Why you should Salad. be tactical? <laughs> Salad sauce everything. Salad sauce everything. <laughs> Salad sauce. Salad sauce everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, every week, Basil, every week, every single week, 2024, we're going man. Yeah, we standing on business. Oh my days! I love you, Basil, man. Basil, we actually love you. We actually love you. Do you know why? Because Basil's the only one. We miss it. We miss it. Basil's the only one that can take it. Yeah, he gets it as much as he takes. Trust me. Don't feel sorry for him, man. I was trying to stop the <laughs> blue. Trying to stop the blue. You just like, hey, yeah. taste it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, back to the Liverpool oh, game. Oh, um, obviously, the top of the league now. Burnley uh, obviously lost. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have abs today to give you some Trafford pop. Prop. Um, Guys, you see the thing about Trafford is <laughs> he pulls off these 13, 14 saves. <laughs> oh my God, what a keeper. <laughs> Trafford, get him down to Old Trafford. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like he should be in an infomercial. That's an infomercial. What's his name? Trapping. Get him down to old Trapping. Oh my days. 
has an infomercial right Mention there. Mention Trafford Run Abs, and oh, I yeah. swear to you, it's like well, meerkats. Like, you see, you see, you know, the thing is, yeah, he does that little thing. Yeah, you know, the thing is, yeah, when you talk about the diabolical space engine in the, in the neurospace, in the neuroscience, it's very clear and obvious on the paper that we are reading oh. currently right now. No, I swear to you. That he I'm just not a good footballer. <laughs> nah, he just yeah. kills me, man. Because the it science and the like biology that. behind that is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Abs is too funny, man. Abs is. Yeah. Abs, yeah. Uh, everyone's getting it today, uh, man. Uh, Abs is no safe. Room. Yeah, no one's safe today. To be honest, he safe. said he was getting onto Abs anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Liash? Liash. What do you call him? <laughs> Little Purgy. <laughs> 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 Lies, that Lies, man. Lies is all news, that man. Yeah, Lies. We done with Lies, man. We saw the way he was stretching. <laughs> like, like, we, <laughs> we saw that like, way he was stretching in that video. Right? <laughs> Lost his mind. Why is he stretching like that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> that, oh my, that video is uh, mad. Gonzalo <laughs> Nacio, man, that's uh, it. Oh my, <laughs> please, I wish you guys would show like that clip, bro. Oh, oh man, that stretch is, is crazy. Yeah, that please, stretch, please, please. That please, stretch yeah. is crazy. You <laughs> see the mobility on the ankles, like? uh, The ankles were still staying in the same place and when arches back all the way to the back. <laughs> You know how mental that is? I you, that. You know that's <laughs> how made a comeback. He's going to say, you know, Brooklyn. He <laughs> learned that in Brooklyn. I screamed when I saw oh that video, man. Oh, my days. I screamed. Oh, my days, bro. Yeah, I know, okay. I know Lias was fuming as well. Nah, nah, his he, his he, face he, went red. That night, you was on a street. Yeah, I was I on a street. I was on the man. I was on the man. I was on the man. Who is he for you? Who is he for you? Did you not see that one? We just saw Someone said he looks like that guy, the kid, uh, that guy from Jungle Book. <laughs> Jungle Book is crazy. That's, that's crazy. That's, that's no, no, that's my crazy. God, man. <laughs> oh, if you want to know what we're talking about? Just go down D Man London Media D-band on Twitter. Twitter. Oh, Twitter oh, below. Oh, that day, God. yeah, you know, it's my head because I was like, <laughs> I had these ones planned in my head, so I was yeah. waiting for them, but it just came quick. Nah, the turnaround was quick. I, I wasn't like expecting to come that too that quick. You know, that day the scripts just all came. It all came together. I like that. I like that. Bro, I'm hot, man. Uh, uh, let's let's get into the correspondence of this game. Listen, correspondence. Uh, who do you guys want to hear on fr- uh, from first? Femi or Alex? Where's our homie field to it this week? Oh, Tactical Regista. Yeah. Yeah, he was a long time ago, fam. Oh, bro, that game finished around at 10 p.m., man. He's probably like asleep or something. Yeah. So probably I, be, I, before, before obviously do the correspondent thing, I just wanted to talk about Burnley. There hasn't been, like this season, there's not been many seconds. Do you think he'll be the second one? Steve uh, Cooper was recently. They look like they're riding out for co- company. Yeah. They're humming from. I think, I think, that's, I think they're going to ride with company. I think they were saying that. Let's think about it. It's only Steve yeah. Cooper that's been sacked in December. Do you know why? Because the way he walked the championship and they've given him a parachute payment, they're like, yo, we can, you know, we can build on this uh, squad, make it even better, walk the championship again next season, yeah. <laughs> following season, come back to the Premier League with a bigger shot. And, then, uh, and then that one he has to deliver. And that that then they're going to look at him like, listen, we've allowed this one. You've got you to do yeah, better. That's enough. what I'm thinking in that one. Fair enough. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So who do you want to hear from first? Uh, Burnley yeah. guy. Burnley guy. Yeah. I want, I want we don't to have tell me about Wilson or the Bear. We don't have any Burnley. There's only two Liverpool fans, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Oh, oh is it? Oh, they're both Liverpool fans? Yeah. That do the correspondence. Okay. Yeah. 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 And they have oh. a message for you. For me? No, I'm joking. Mm. <laughs> they like you, I think. Uh, but know. listen, I Alex Tech. So. <laughs> today. 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 Like he it. said, uh, Alex Tech said, routine training game in the first half, Liverpool completely different in the second. Nunez's early goal was ridiculously well taken for a player who'd been on a drought. Mm. What about like the second? I think we were robbed with one before half time, but you have to cre- uh, credit Trafford. Second half, we came out and embarrassed ourselves. Felt much like the Sheffield game. Very lucky that Burnley lacked that quality in the final third. Otherwise, we would have dropped points. Other, on paper, is a good away win and a clean sheet, but champions would have had the game wrapped up by 25 minutes. Great to have uh, J- have Jota back. He's just inevitable for us, but we shouldn't have to rely on him today. And then Femi said, um, Jota showed up why he's arguably our most clinical striker. First start of his injury and he slots in from that tight angle. Him staying fit could be crucial in our season. So he provides something that the others, Bar Salah, are struggling to do, do at this time. That puts him on five goals in the Prem for the season as well. So he's out for a minute. Let's go to the next game. Uh, Stamford Bridge, Chelsea versus Palace. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, this game in particular, listen, Chelsea needed get the win and they did but I want to talk about one man once again Nico Jackson had a one-on-one chance and he's one striker where he doesn't pass the eye test for me I, I like giving a player's grace period I can't give grace periods for Nico Jackson okay there's certain players you just I just can't do it I can't I, yeah. I, can't, I personally can't I do hear it. you brother oh nana for me baby <laughs> what have they both got in common go in Afghan I, you see oh, me? Okay, I'm, thank I'm, God. I'm, I'm, <laughs> he's gonna laugh on me. I'm black. Yeah, I'm that, bro. I'm starting to think this, you know, because when it came to Darwin Nunes and he was doing up the same. Oh, I know, I know, but the general consensus yes, was yes, chaos. 
give him time. time. Yeah, yeah. And Nico Jackson, it's like, <clears throat> no time. Yeah. Despite him it's clearly not, being brought in as a 30 million stopgap signing. Yeah. He's developmental player. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't get it. Was he even I a thought, striker? I, I, I genuinely, nah. yesterday, he wasn't right aside right. from him missing that big chance, I thought in the game, he actually had a decent game. Mm. I didn't think he was bad. I thought, and I think, I, I personally disagree. I think the eye test, he actually does pass it. I think his touches sometimes, I think are decent. I think his link up plays sometimes is decent. decent yeah. It's just that final action. This is my problem. I don't so understand when people are telling yeah. me about touches with Nico Jackson. I've seen him have touches and he looks like he's falling over himself. I, that, that's what I can't you get have behind. those moments as well, no doubt. Yeah. But I think that for me, if you're saying doesn't pass the eye test, I think mm. he's not an eyesore is what I would say. But I, I definitely think he deserves a grace period, in my opinion. I think that Chelsea team is the most dysfunctional and one of the weirdest transitions you've seen of any team. He's been thrown into that and expected to be turn up, points. score the goals in a Poch really ha- doesn't mm. have a found system, doesn't really have creators that really provide for him. Now, weirdly, they have been creating a lot of chances. He hasn't been putting them away, but does he not deserve a grace period because of that? I don't think so. I think yesterday wasn't... Okay, he didn't take the chance, but I didn't think mm. he was that bad, yeah. to be fair. And I, I think, listen, he's going to be replaced regardless. The problem is you don't want to kill his confidence completely. And I mm-hmm. think Broha coming in, you saw, for me, I don't think he's of the Chelsea standard no, 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 as no. well, in my opinion. They're going to go big. They're, and they're I'm gonna waiting gonna for, for an awesome For sure, yeah. But Mudrik, I think massive confidence. Oh, you called him the right name, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, when you score mm-hmm. goal. I respect you. Uh, uh, that LCM yeah. role, he was cooking, you know. <coughs> uh, yeah, I saw that little pass. Yeah, here, man. yeah. Nice, nice pass. But, but no, yeah, he but scored as well. He scored the, yeah. scored the first goal. Um, obviously, Elise then equalized for. What a celebration! Were, I can't lie to you. Uh, I love, I love the fans. The, 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 the celebration, the, and the crowd just giving him. The two <laughs> I was like, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two two he's a, he's yeah. a proper rattler though with Elise. Yeah, yeah. And you like that though. Had Cole will. On oh, yeah, post, yeah, post, cold, yeah, that cold, yeah, yeah. This cold will at left back experiment as well needs to stop, and this is where Pochettino was a little bit confused because you started Matson for the first time. We play with, played yeah, him right, right wing. wing. Yeah, it didn't make sense to me. He, I think he lost six out of six. No, he was having a oh, stink. One, no tackles. No stinker, stinker. Lost the ball countless times. Horror, horror show, horror show at right wing. You, 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 you fed him to the wolves essentially. Yeah. As well. I, I felt like that was really bad management. Yeah, play him at left back in his natural position. That's what I was thinking. You've got a left back, and he's the only, he's the only currently fit, like natural left back in that team. I know he's. Some people argue he's a left wing back. Yeah. or he's a left forward, but ideally he's the only one that's got the experience of playing at left back. Play him there. And do you know what's crazy? Yeah. The sub who came on in Noni oh, played that game right changer. Yeah. I feel like every time he comes on. He makes an impact. Yeah, he's always. What does he have never to do? given the opportunity? And I've said I think it's low key to do with uh, going to PSV mm. when Poch was still in charge of Spurs. He was like, "Oh, big man, you don't want to work with me in it. Hold this bench." bench yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see the press box after, and then now he's trying to yeah, do it. Oh, okay. You see the press box. Yeah. Well. Nah, nah. He was you know like, that's Arteta like, oh, Saliba right there. Of course. Goes, <laughs> yeah, oh, that. now now you're working for me. Yeah, you my boy. You my boy. You my boy. I was happy that he showed me why he was upset with me. Like that, like, like, ah. it's like yeah, I'm, I, you know, he goes, I'm happy because he was upset with me and he showed me. Because even in the that. last game, he came yeah. on, he made the difference. Yeah, yeah he was like, difference maker. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Now you've done it in back to back games. What's uh, this guy got to do to start? And I'm not saying, you know, oh, he's got to be a minted on starter. Yeah. But while Palmer's out, at least you can give him some games. It's yeah, like, yeah. Mudrik, oh, I almost called him that. Yeah, no, <laughs> Mudrik, <laughs> <laughs> Mudrik wasn't always performing those deliverances, but you can kind of maybe play him on the left wing. So I don't know. I feel like Noni. Definitely mm. now has kind of worked. Did you like his altercation of uh, Tariq Mitchell? Say that again? The push. With, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I love a bit of that, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll always, always love the beef. No, do you know what it is? I find it hard with Chelsea uh, is that, um, like, I said at the start of the season, I've given Poch and Chelsea a season pass. So, like, yeah. I find it hard to analyse them because I'm just like, yes, this is happening, that's happening. And I'm like, yeah, but... I can see you, your work. Some just avoid relegation for me. Yeah. And you no, can no, do what I'm, you no, want. No, I'm just seeing, like, I can see that Things are happening. They're trying mm-hmm. to do things. They're trying to work things out. They're trying to work out their lineup. Uh, they are, like you said, they're creating chances. They're not like I don't think they. <coughs> a lot of their games that they've lost, they haven't been disastrous. They create chances. They create chances. They, they don't just score them, and, and then they get punished. And they just get punished, punished yeah, for yeah, it. And yeah, that's yeah. literally been their theme, like for majority. Well, that of the that's why they need yeah. a proper striker. That's yeah. what yeah. No, no, hundred percent. Obviously, people said when Kuku comes back, they'll start maybe getting goals or maybe. And Kuku was in that green. You're not made of him. So far, I've well, liked. I think, I've I think he's been okay. You know, I like. I, I like his feel of the game. Yeah, I don't think he's been. Yeah, I don't think he's been. 
I think he's been decent. I can't even yeah. lie, bro. I, I've liked it. I I've think liked he's his, exactly I've, what they've needed. needed. Yeah, hundred percent. And in yeah. a weird way, it's like but it compliments Jackson a lot as well. Them yeah. too. I can't lie. This is where I'm like, yo, all right, let me see what else you lot can kind of do. I, I said that in, in was the last episode that they was on the last episode I was on. I said them two in the preseason. <laughs> yeah, 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 you did. I think, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. they look cold his, together. His ability yeah. to just drive with the ball, the way he's able to link up with players, be a goal threat yeah. from midfield as well. Because yeah, I think that's one thing they were lacking. Fear a little bit for Enzo. I'll mm -hmm. be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. looking at if Enzo comes in, gives them a nice little wrinkle in their creativity. Okay, Caicedo, you're yeah. going to be the steady cog in that midfield. Gallagher, captain, best midfielder this yeah, season. He's not getting dropped. Uh, Lavia's just come back. But that's where you're stupid. If you sell yeah. Gallagher, it, that's it, really... It, they're looking to, by the way. They're looking to sell Gallagher, by the way. That is one of the worst things But that's But that's a Newcastle side. But then Lavia coming back in as well. Yeah, you kind of think, hey Enzo, where are you gonna fit yeah, in all this, yeah. buddy? Do you know what I'm saying? Hundred and what? Hundred and five million? Hundred? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's looking a bit ticky, but yeah. the thing, my problem with Poch though is, yeah, even though I've given him a season pass, sometimes I was looking at him. Yeah, like, he doesn't deserve a season pass. Don't, yeah, he doesn't. Like, no, it doesn't. Like, no, but but I'm saying like what you just said there. Mm. I look at it sometimes like. Maybe I shouldn't give you a season pass. Should I tell you why? Some of the things you're doing is just stupidity, and I'm like, you can't even defend. Will the Matson? Like it's just like. You put Mats in right wing, yeah? He was your only natural left back. You didn't play left back. You had Gusto, who for me in that first half was Chelsea's best player by a mile. We didn't even speak on him. Yeah, he was, yeah, like unreal was game. Chelsea's best player oh. in that first half for quality. me by a mile. Hey, yeah. Reese James? Yeah. So, yeah, it's a problem. No, low key, I've, all the signings they made. Gusto's the best one. Mm. The no, best I, one. I've said, I said when yeah. Gusto and Madweka came, yeah. I said, of all the signings, they're the two. Least risk because they were like yeah of course yeah, they were yeah, like, yeah, yeah yeah but with the highest kind of like reward, 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 reward yeah yeah, yeah. No, you're right sure. about reshapes because the ability uh, the best availability is best availability lines right no, it's, it's, it's time it's free it's free it's free but you know what is um obviously having Gusto play be your best player on the pitch playing right back playing in his favorite position and instead of just being like you know what let me just move Matt into left back because Cole was having a stinker of a first half let me put Matt in left back. Maybe move Cole's, uh, uh, you know, as a centre back. Maybe sacrifice more than Badia or Disaster, whoever it is. I'm just Take saying. Cole will off, bro. Badia no, 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 I'm just saying. I'm just together saying. Together I'm just saying. They whatever. No, no, I'm giving you. I'm backs. being nice, bro. Stop no, this Cole nice. will. Listen, oh, he's one of listen, our own. Listen, listen, oh, he played well at I'm Brighton. Being nice. Nah, bro. I'm being nice, though. Chelsea. I'm just saying, yeah. Chelsea need to stop doing this. Cole Will's are are John Terry, bro. I this hear, light skin privilege is getting cut. It sit him on bench. What did they give him armband for a couple of weeks ago? Charity. Is he a leader? No. Has he earned it? No. Uh, what? Pure Cobham entitlement. Yeah. Low it, bro. He has not been a not good left high. back. I he think it's quite high. Out of the centre backs, I feel like Badia Shul clears him so far. Every time Badia Shul plays, I'm like, no, you're serious. a player. No, no, Bad the Sassy Bad for me serious. has looked okay so far. Yeah. And he's, he's a big scapegoat, bro. He's a big scapegoat. I don't I don't understand why. Yeah, he's a big scapegoat. 100%. With Chelsea, you know what I don't understand? With Chelsea, the Chelsea fans, once they pick their scapegoat, once no, no, they pick the skip, what happened? We'll just go with you. Once they pick the skip, you know what? 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 You know he just stopped with that. I said, I'll oh, that. Yeah, when I stopped with that, I said, I said, man, I was about to line up to shoot. And you just like, bop. I said, I saw that. He's like, no, my train is gone. I'm thinking, get your ass back in line. He's like, that's as far as you go, man. Stay right here, man. Whoa, who shot him off the park? Have you just had a video with that guy who's talking to his son, that TikTok, where he's like, this is like, he goes, this is three dollars, okay? This is, he's got like a fizzy drink in his hand. He goes, this is two dollars, but you also get uh, another fizzy drink for free. He goes, which is a better deal? And he goes, oh, yes, three dollars. He goes, boy, get your ass out of here. That's what you want to get your ass out of here. <laughs> 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 now go on, go on. Go on, go on. I right, can someone land on the phone. I'm real, yeah. You forgot his point. No, no, wait. No, you were talking about Disarcy. Yeah, this is my, my, my argument. Is, like a, before you start, no, yeah. no, 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 how? Because my head goes, I'm like, what, what? Why did he just stop me? He just ran at me. Then he used to say something. He used to say something. Right, go, go, like, oh, go, go. This this no, regarding, regarding Chelsea, it's like they pick and with scapegoats, they pick and choose who they don't like and they're just riding with it because it doesn't suit their agenda. You know how you said Nico Jackson, he doesn't, on the eye, he's not good. 
I feel like it's you guys putting an expectation on him, thinking he's a 30 man goal scorer because mm. he did well at pre season. Right. Now you're looking at him and going, you know what? Because no fan, like only Chelsea fans hate Nico Jackson. I like neutral fans, they're like, he's all right, but you're these 25 million, 30 yeah. million. I'm not expecting much from him. There's not much scrutiny because he's not a big sign. The way you talk about Malo Gustas, the way I look at him. The and stuff like, games. Yeah. bro, three of them come bro, Spurs, but he's about, he's about, mm. he's about eight nine goals, nine he's about eight, nine goals away from Darwin Nunes' all time. In the, what did you say? He had 13, 13. I remember 13 on the court, yeah, you yeah, said yeah, he had 13 yeah, goals yeah, in the yeah. Prem. Bro, he's about six that's, away from that's, him. That's, you know how mad that is? Prem career, that's, crazy. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And he's about seven away from him. And yeah. everyone's looking at him going, he's, he's meaty. Okay, cool. Fair enough. He's meaty, but. What what's your expectations on these players? No one expected this. Expe- everyone expected this Sasha to be a. Uh, um, he just was literally back up like as a backup injury. We've got. You're coming from just there. Yeah. Fofana went down last minute. Let's go and get somebody. And, and then, I, as I, that's as I was saying, he's just plugged the gap nicely. And I just yeah. feel like him and Badia should already have a combination of themselves. He doesn't do Monaco, anything bad. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sorry. One thing Cole he's looking at him like, the oh, this guy's a fire. He's just yeah, shit. No, I don't right, look at him. The Sasha, yeah, he might not like. He's got a decent pass on him. He can read the game fairly well. He's still a unit as well. They're coming from. I don't know what it is, but when they say when they talk about the Sasha, like. Chilwell, Cole Chilwell should have more script. Well. Huh? Chelsea fans hate Chilwell yeah. as well. Yeah. He came with a back, big price. Like he's well. meant to be the yeah. left left back and whatever, and he's just yeah. injury prone. The Sarsi, the way the way they look at the Sarsi is the way everyone else that's not Chelsea fan looks at Cole. Yeah, yeah, I don't look at Cole that great, but yeah. I don't. I think he's all right. Now they're gonna start looking at uh, the uh, Sarsi. He's all right. He's not great. Now they're gonna start he's looking right. at Alfie Gilchrist. Can, I, can I ask you a question? He's, he's that little cameo. He's it. real Chelsea. He's a real man. That's a real Chelsea. That's a Chelsea. Alfie Gilchrist. You're watching you closely, lad. <laughs> Someone put the Rooney really skinhead comment. I was very, yeah. very moved by that yeah. cameo. I saw him trying yeah. to put the ball you know on what? Time. With his head like that. Yeah, I saw head? that. He yeah. said face. He said, he said I don't put it in. Come here. Like that, yeah. like, Do you know he made yeah, a tackle yeah, immediately? Yeah. Just like, you got dog. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, regardless of that. man that are just happy to be out there. I'm happy to be wearing the shirt. I will die here calm. That's what you need in your. Yeah. You need one of those in your. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. You have to have those guys. That will be and they don't care. I can't lie to you. John care. Terry what? gave him the call sign as well. Yeah, I think yeah. they asked him in a some presser, who's the one academy kid that you think can really make it through? And this is like before so he's come through. He's like Alfie Gilchrist trains the proper way there. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yo, JT, give me the call sign. And that's your cameo. That's you. Yeah, yeah. That's a really little stop thing. there. Yeah, but but are you only nah, invested? Are you only invested because he's a madman? Uh, you didn't mind this. You didn't mind man. No, but he yeah. loves it because whenever, a, whenever someone breaks their leg, I'm a big crunchy tongue. They I'm, put on his He's a real man. I'm a big proponent <laughs> of defenders <laughs> who like to defend. Yeah, yeah. If you are a defender who you're likes like me, to bro, defend, bro, old school. I will put stop. Show that age. I don't. I, uh, if you telling me your primary objective as a defender is you can pass, that's the abs. That's stay the abs. over there. No, is he a footballer? I don't is care he a footballer? Well, why is he American? That's what is, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> why, why, footballer? Why am I doing American? I don't know. I don't even know. Why. <laughs> is he a footballer? He did, he did American. He's an absolute. So just just merged into one, one enemy. enemy. Yeah, they're one enemy. Why are they one enemy? They're one enemy. They're together. Get Absolutely, yes. Why are they together? You, you guys saw adding big words, by the way, in between it as well. What's it? You egregious. You guys say egregious and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what Elias does. Uh, yeah, he loves yeah, that. Yeah. He, he, I man, know he, that's great, that man. Yeah, that's great, dog. I found out when two months ago, he'd been ridden it ever since. Love him, man. I love him, man. <laughs> but let's get to the analysis of the Crystal Palace fan. He said, four wins in 19 games. Can't keep a clean sheet to save our lives. Woefully unfit. Zero confidence in our attackers. Good young players getting trash time only. I don't see how it can be any worse right now. Sack him. <laughs> How did Roy survive the Bournemouth game, <laughs> let alone still here? I have, ab- he's been trying to retire. Yeah, he's I have a, absolutely zero confidence he'll go before the Brentford game. Any other club would have appointed him, wouldn't have appointed him in the first place, but would have sacked the months back of the hand. We're just an absolute <laughs> joke. All the manager both need to get rid of. Uh, need to be get, getting rid of. Roy subs cost us again. Take an IU off a of schlup, even though it was a bad idea against Brighton, and then only giving Franca minutes once we're losing at the death. I don't it's a joke. That one. It's a joke. But oh, listen, what? let's go to Brentford Wolves. Um, <laughs> Brentford obviously losing uh, 4-1 at home. They're in trouble right now. They're Nathan only... Collins, speak about him. Nathan Collins had, I don't know who had a worse <laughs> disaster class against their former club. Was it Nathan Collins or was it Declan Rice? They might be tired, I'll be honest. But Nathan Collins, I don't know what he was doing at the back there. He assisted Huang Ki Chan. He pre-assisted their fourth goal. It was just an absolute disaster class. Let's quickly go into the notes before we actually start with the analysis of this game. Um, we got uh, Keenan Lowe, who's a Brentford fan. He said, this is an unacceptable result for Brentford. I understand the Im- injuries limited the attack, but conceding four at home to Wolves is pitiful. <laughs> 
This match was over after half an hour. Nathan Collins had an absolute ass to class today for the beast. Ass to class is crazy. Ass to class is crazy. <laughs> Routine, I like that. I like that. I like that one. <laughs> Routinely losing track of Wolves attackers and giving the ball away for Wolves goals several times in Brentford's final third. He had a direct hand in three of the goals he conceded. Flecken also continues to have one bad performance after another. When your centre back and your goalkeeper are your worst players on the pitch, goals will be conceded. I can imagine uh, the strikers, you know, they're like, yo, leave that, leave that, Nathan. Or like, <laughs> say, no, no, no. <laughs> get past it. He's so yeah, used no. to the voices as well, he'll actually leave <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> you know I was like? And then uh, probably, probably not a said who's our Wolf fan. He said, wow, that was certainly not expected at all. A comfortable win away from home, which has been hard to come by. So this is an amazing result and evidence that Gary Neal is changing our fortunes a lot. Oh, Hwang Ki Chan and Mary Lamina were the two players who stood out today and been in standout plays this season and deserve much more recognition. Well, Hang Wang, Hwang Ki Chan. Now he's 10 just, goals in the league. Not just Hwang Ki Chan, Mario Lamina has yeah, found yeah. his goal scoring back yeah. all of a yeah. sudden this season. He's been getting, getting goals. He's a yeah, super he's... Mario Lamina, what player again like the Chelsea game, opening up the scoring mm. from a corner, getting his fourth goal this season and offering so much in the midfield. Behind Saka, bro. Keep that man. Yeah, for his dad, didn't <laughs> he? Said recently, I think his dad was sick or something like that. Oh. Yeah. No, uh, who? Yeah, Lamina. Oh, no. He said he was well, recently his dad was sick, so I think the goal he <laughs> scored last week he dedicated to him. Mm. So oh, I, I, re- I respect that. I respect um, that still. Playing play, play with some dog in him. Yeah, mm-hmm. I exactly. respect that a lot. Sometimes that the motivation. And, and shout out Huang <laughs> as well, bro, because since old Baldy in Manchester spoke on him, yeah, I've seen, I seen Luke Castle fans say, Yo, Grealish, I beg you get out of Almer in again. <laughs> I'm telling you, listen, don't put that chip on a man's shoulder, bruv. 10 goals, 10 league goals now, bro. That's crazy, cooking. man. Cooking. They're cooking, man. They're cooking. They're Sign up. a new contract as well. Yeah, deservedly, man. Wolves are 11th right now, 25 points, 11 points with Chelsea. And uh, where is Brentford? They are four points above. The relegation zone. Oh, it's sticky. It is sticky time. For Uncomfortable me. conversations. Wow. Tony potentially leaving in January. You got Wies and um, Buemo out. You got Wies going to Afcon. Where are their goals going to come from, guys? Shade. Uh, they, 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 <laughs> they definitely need to sign somebody uh, in January. Nobody even bothered to do that. <laughs> <laughs> just carried on. He was like, who the hell is Shade? <laughs> nah, nah. Shade. Ger- Ger- German kid. Shade. <laughs> But he, 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 <laughs> I've said, do you know, do you know who I think they should go for in January? Either your boy Eddie, Eddie, Ketia, Eddie. or Armando Broja at Chelsea. Armando, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. I think those are that'll two be good, players. Be good that, even if they just say yo loan, just and they both stay you know, in London anyway. Uh, so both stay in London. Yeah. Both Tony's back in January, is alright. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, if they I, need I, a midfielder I, or a winger, McTominay. Anthony. Yeah, always. Well, if they need the left back, Zinchenko's on the market. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, well, like, that one, is, it, is this what we're doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every Real. club that needs Emerson, Emerson Real. Real. Yeah, you know. They do need a right back. Listen, Hoiberg. Hey. I need a DM. Yeah, yeah me. Bro, what's it? They're, they're Danish, basically. <laughs> Get a captain. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. That was a the unfortunate loss at home for Brentford. Yeah, uh, it's getting it's getting sticky for them. Uh, Brentford's next game is against. I respect. I respect Wolves. Uh, their next game is against Palace away. <laughs> so I'm excited for both of their correspondence after this result. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, you know, that, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, the Roy Hodgson one. I generally f- makes me cry because they keep asking him to come back. He, he sack him. He comes back. Like, how, why, how many times do you want to go back to your ex? How, how, how many times you got to teach this lesson, old man? What <laughs> 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 I literally is. What I literally is that mean? <laughs> and Wolves' next game is against Everton at home. Everton's obviously. Ah, oh, I like that. Uh, I might watch that one. Yeah, 3 p.m. probably. That screams Saturday 3 p.m. Yeah, it's Saturday. Well, like, another point at 5 p.m. Saturday 3 p.m. Yeah, 100%. Same as not. But then the Brentford Chris Wallace game is at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Deservedly so. Deservedly so, bro. Deservedly so. We're excited for those games. But yeah, let's but do, you, let's you have it. to find a stream. Yeah. No, 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 we don't do that here. We don't legally stream games. Remember when they tried to charge people to watch games during the lockdown? Oh, it was like ten pounds. Oh my, oh my no, fifteen God. pounds. Fifteen pounds. 15 pounds. It was and there was some BD game. Single United, United versus. Oh my god, I'm trying to think. Someone in the comments will tell us, but it was the nastiest yeah. game. And in try the charge world. people fifteen pounds. Nasty work. Despicable. Was that was that when everyone was desperate to watch football? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, they tried to take advantage. They had capitalism. They had football free. All COVID. Then I remember it was going back to normality and they yeah. tried to do, oh, you know what, we'll still show you the games, yes. but we'll charge, we'll you, charge you extra. Why? Because there's like, a disease going around. Life, blood. Exactly. They're let me mental. Go, let, me, let me go run up. Bar. No way. Yeah. Hey. hey. You had to snitch. You had to snitch. Premier League. Hey. We love you guys. We love yeah. you guys, man. <laughs> no, it's illegal. TV <laughs> broadcasters. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 We pay for our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> let's move on to the last couple of games. Uh, Bournemouth. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> let's move on to the last couple of games. Bournemouth three 0 win against Fulham. Um, uh, great, great performance from Iriola again. He's on a winning hot streak right now. 
Uh, listen, we're at the table. They're 12th in the table right now. And obviously, Fulham, they are still in 13th. So, you know, they're just chilling down there. We got an analysis from, I think it was both fans. Yeah, we got an analysis from both fans. Who do you guys want to hear from first? Bournemouth. Bournemouth. We've got Dan. The most complete per- performance of the season earns us our fourth consecutive Premier League win for the first time in history. Taking history, us up, history. Taking us up mm-hmm. into the top half of the table. Ariola manager of the month and Solanke player of the month, surely. Uh, Ariola has had to overcome countless injuries. No system and manager still. Sinistero. Oh. Shout. Sinistero, I guess. Shout. The, 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 uh, game. The, the last game. The last oh, game. Yes, yes. The end, but yeah. then Purvis. <laughs> That's a good shout as well. I just hate the fact that. Uh, I hate that. I said they could do a clean sweep. <laughs> yeah, got a shout to yeah, do a clean yeah. sweep. No, 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 no. Nominations for sure. Nominations. They got a shout to do a clean sweep. Clean sweep. Yeah. Clean sweep. Yeah. But we already know what the goal of the season is going to be. So it's fine. It's your boy. You're a star boy. Um, he said, yeah, the hardest opening fixture is that media pressure trying to push the harsh to sack on your agenda. <coughs> Look at him now. Alex Scott's confidence to run through the midfield <laughs> from deep. Alex Scott, no, what a player. My man. player of the match today. Hey, he was quality. Right? Oh, and let's sign a Sinisteria. Uh, Leeds can keep Anthony. Oh, they have Jane, oh, yeah, Jane, Jane Anthony. Anthony. Well, they could have, have, have the Anthony. <laughs> they could have the other one as well. Eh? Both flags. Yeah, both flags. And then, Double Anthony. And then the Fulham fan said, I uh, could honestly just copy the paste lo- uh, last one from this week. <laughs> Horrible. This desperately missed Jimenez and Willian. Can he completely overrun midfield? Decker Dover Reed, miles off the level required. Desperately need reinforcements in January in attack. And as it looks like we're drifting to a 14, 15. Season. You know, that's the thing about, this is the thing about Fulham. You know, they was getting onto me on Twitter going, see, look how good we are. This is. This is you. Fulham fans are getting onto you. Nah, don't you remember they won two games? 5-0 back to back. Brother, brother, I had me. Brother, I had me. Brother, I had me going. Told you we kicked ball. I was like, They lost two of their best players. Let's be real. Willian and Jimenez. Yeah. You know, you know. I mean, of recent form. That Jimenez red card for me. It's the funniest red card. It's incredible. That is incredible. We know why. In my opinion. Yeah, we it's know why. The way he pulled out. Why did he go to Mexico? And immediately went. No, no he went Mexico. Rikishi mode, bro. <laughs> no, I saw what happened. You but you I know how to put man in the turnbuckle. Yeah, and, and it boop with his body. Boop. Yeah. Straight. Straight. But I think, straight. I think he might just go. <laughs> no, no matter. <laughs> yeah, with a big. And sometimes you sometimes you even rub on it as well. The wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, wiggle, wiggle. yo. They do the wiggle on it as well. Yeah, that's crazy nuts. That sounds like a full whizzy finish. All that sweaty ass all over your face. Yo. That's a like Fuizzi. Fuizzi? This is a message to you, Fuizzi. Shake it yourself. Bournemouth this season, though, man, they're flying high. Where do you see them? Do you see Faisal? We, hey, we gotta get Faisal. If we get onto Faisal, we have to give him no, a prop. No, you're not going to give Faisal prop because I was the only person in on the season preview who had Bournemouth 11. I said wow. they would be the overachievers. And they're 12 right now. I had them overachievers. I remember it was oh. me and you. I don't remember who was yeah. here. So all this Faisal, well, yeah. Iriola, glazing credit, allow it. He was just rating the manager. The manager's all right. I'll be real. I looked at the, the personnel squad, of players that I was like, oh. The personnel, the personnel, you have to give a lot yeah. of credit to. So Mankey, Alex Scott, Semenya are coming out of nowhere this season. Yeah. Like, Senesi's having a good season. Kirk has. Senesi, Kirk has. Like, He's out for a minute. As right much as yeah. I think I had, I'm not going to lie to you. I think I had Bournemouth to go down. So, fair play. Happens though, man. No, no, no. Was that when Gary O'Neill was they, they, they got too many nah, FM talents season. there, man. Yeah, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. I looked at us and I said, yeah, they got some FM wonder kids there. Yeah. I'm investing small, small stock there. Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as I saw Kirk the FM knowledge. That's the FM knowledge coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the FM knowledge, man. Uh, listen, let's go to the final game of the game week. Sheffield, this is a five goal thriller. I don't know how this yeah. is last That's game. That's the first black hey. ref game, innit? In a while. For Yes, oh, what's hey. this? for a while. I think it's the first time, no? In like 15 years, I think. Yeah. Well, we're in a 3 2 win against Sheffield oh, yeah. United. Right. Right. And it, and it, it's the f- first black one. They gave the, the, the media's game of the of the week. Oh, when we say media, it's the five black one. It tells them on paper. Yeah, Sheffield They gave them the championship game. Yeah, we, ain't, we ain't speak on that, though. <laughs> oh, as a newbie, you should start from the bottom. Let him work his way up and up. And we got uh, Q in, mm-hmm. who's a li- uh, Luton fan. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty work. <laughs> he said, Kewin, Kewin is a Luton fan. He's a hey lads, hope all as well. Two wins on the bounce, a great way to end the year. However, this was our worst performance in months. Such a polar opposite to performance against Newcastle that the result is almost disappointing. We went from being on the front foot to sitting back trying to hold a 1 0 that sent us a 2 1 within 20 minutes. We won 3 2 without a shot on target since it was 2 1 to them. The game two on goals, man. Yeah, two on goals. That's crazy. Yeah, no, they yeah, had no yeah, short yeah, target. Yeah, two on one. Listen, the last five minutes as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mental. Yeah. That's he mental. said, from that game, I can see that Sheffield United is 100% going down. This season is all in our hands. And with an inconsistent Chelsea up next, I have hope as a Luton fan. But yeah. Imagine a Luton fan looking at Chops going, you know what? We could get shot out of Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, their home form is ridiculous. No, it is. Well, I, yeah, that place yeah, fortress, bro. That's yeah, scary, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Luton at home. Yeah, well, that's scary, bro. 
they, they have Ilias there, the former former player. But they were at uh, Sheffield's ground. Yeah, they were in Bramall Lane. Bramall, Bramall Lane. And so, you know, yeah. I think that he's saying Luton's next, uh, it's at 12.30. Uh, yeah, so yeah, Luton, I don't believe Lee, uh, Ilias is still. You don't believe it? You didn't see pictures? Yeah. Uh, apparently, you knew him when he was at Luton. Yeah, but I didn't see pictures. You know, it reminds me of, it reminds me of uh, Walt Chamberlain, you know, 100 so points. To me, it didn't happen. <laughs> to me, it didn't happen what? It reminds Ooh. me of Walt Chamberlain, 100 points. I just don't know if it's true. At least you just ride it. Pause. <laughs> so you ride a storm. No, 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 we just right. get a round of applause for the black referee, though. That, that, that referee. We already did that. Didn't we? We, didn't, we did a round of applause, though. No. Yo, this is how you know this guy don't pay. This, this is what they mean about it. No, you generally forgot. You generally forgot. No, 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 well, no, bro. Yeah. You're, you're actually an airhead. Yeah. I've realized this, you know. Okay. We just did a round of applause two minutes ago. Where was you? And the worst oh, thing was, wasn't here. watch the video back. He was doing a round of applause as well. Uh, <laughs> his brain was not here. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know where his brain is. We have to start connecting Did the body the and the mind. Did we mention the deadest game of the... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, did we mention that as well? You came up with, you said it. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Stay in the room. <laughs> 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 did we mention that as well? I'm just making sure I was here. Put like a little poll. Who uh, was your favorite member of 2023 and why was it Lee Ban? But listen, who? Me personally? For me? I'll give it to Fu. Fu is he? Yeah, I can't lie to you. Fu is he? can't lie. Serious. He's been a, he's been a stand up Serious, serious, this year, serious. Man. I can't lie. To yeah. you. I can't lie. Uh, Faisal for me. Faisal, yeah. oh, Faisal think, up there. Faisal I think Faisal's character development this season. And can I just say as well, yeah? Shit. Honestly. Best addition in a while. Lias. But you know what? Lias is not here. Abs as well. Yeah, yeah. Incredible my addition. Dog, incredible dog, addition. I can't lie. Incredible addition to the team. It's been an incredible 2023. Inshallah, we got bigger things planned for you lot. Twenty twenty four. You they don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't they even don't know. know. Are you gonna leak? Well, I did it. <laughs> Champion. Oh shit! I don't even talk if it was me to mention it. But <laughs> yeah, honestly, inshallah, like twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty three was a big year. We had our first live show. Hey, incredible! Has some more mastermind. Yeah. The introduction of mastermind. What's uh, more coming. Was, what was Remember, it? Night. The, the yeah, penny the night. shootout. The the FIFA tournament. Hey, so, so much. You know. So yeah. much oh, things we have. But well, you was hosting the night event as well. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Event, yeah. Yeah. Nike yeah. event, Nike event, Nike town. Yeah, yeah. yeah so real like, thousand islands appeared on SDS this year. Yeah, yeah. so many yes. big moments happened this year. Well, like, it's been. It feels like a long year, but at the same time, I remember someone sent you that clip of the the Zerbi moment. You're like, what I thought it was last year. <laughs> yeah. You know, only reason why I keep thinking last year is because I bought that tracky last year, but I wore it first time on yeah, that yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I was like, I keep. Thinking, but then again, that yeah. that uh, episode was on Sharky's old house. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's another thing as well. Studio, yeah, new studio this year. Yeah, so a shot, man, man them. Bigger Love things, man. Like, yeah. Obviously, we all get into each other, we banter each other, and we get it. We always make, you know, jokes and stuff yeah. like that. We try to keep it as entertaining as, as fun. But Ola has been an incredible year. I love, honestly, every single member. For real, I love, I love every single member. Honestly, like, like nah, no, I'm not for real. Not for real. It's a proper family. Like, we don't have many wholesome moments. No, this, I like this right here now, man. This is we actually do. You know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? It's something about me. I just feel like Levi's gonna go left on me. No, 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 no. You don't know me too well now. You don't know me too. No, but no, no. Like on a real thing though, well, like, like it's been an incredible year. Obviously, yeah, like shout out to everyone that shows support in terms of any oh, platform. Yeah, man. 250k, However, like, by the way. From day, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, like 250k as well this year. But like, shout out to Sharky, obviously. Yeah. Like, listen, of course, he made this. I'm like, 100 percent, bro. Like, he's he would have liked to be in here for his last. No, I'm happy that you ended it. I'm happy. Yeah, for real, man. Because according to Levi, you might not be here next 2024, man. Yeah, you might not be here. <laughs> it's 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 last hurrah! Last hurrah! Yeah. Alright, this is the highest hey. CBK's last appearance ever on SDS! Last of my round of applause! No, but on hey, that, that, I was see say, my body in the on, river, man. No, but I just say on, on, on that note, obviously, shout out to all the fans, whether you've come in like from through Mastermind or whether you've been here from day one, like the support, <laughs> the support, this guy's yeah, dying. We're to have a whole yeah, we're that's what I said. So <laughs> that, that I'm saying, we, we, <laughs> this guy Yo, died. He's dying. What he said? Yeah. No, I mean, he's, he's, he's a goldfish. We didn't catch you him. You don't hear what he said? Nah, what he said? Hey, good. See my body in the river, man. <laughs> 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 Nah, you're a sicko. He's a sicko. Hey, man. Bro, I was you're a sicko. You're a sicko. I'm a real 2024. We need the death. <laughs> I'm willing to volunteer myself. Oh, my. He ruined it. <laughs> uh, and, it's, and on that note, guys, love you all. Hey, hey. See you in 2024.